I don't know what to It's time to beat up some enemies in that event real quick. Probably, hopefully. We'll see. There is... Well, there's also apparently a new event today. Web event. That's not the kind of thing I do here. Also, I can do Garcia quest. Let's see. So I think, well, first I will condense a little bit of resin. Can do that real quick. I run talent domains today. We'll see. How much do I have in my inventory right now? Yeah, that would be enough to level up you if I absolutely had to. Let's just claim this real quick. Thank you. And then... Hmm. Hmm. Over in Inazuma is where we have our missions today, so... Okay, so there's that one. That said, I'm probably just going to brute force it, just because it's more fun, and, you know, there's no point in having an Arlecchino this strong if I don't end up using her for combat. Okay, thank you. Got all these over here. Let's wait for these to condense. There we are. Okay. Cool, and, oh, ooh. Okay, here we have it. Only a couple more needed. Oh, interesting. But yeah, the vaporize is not procking. Definitely do hurt some things. Okay. One, two, and there we have it. Now we can just claim supplies real quick. They were a little stronger than I expected. To be fair, it's been a while since I deliberately triggered enemy aggression during a quest like this. So I will simply hmm, take the other one and withdraw to safety. Okay, come on, come on. There we have that over there. I think, yeah, we can just use her fast movement ability. There we go. Okay, cool. <coughs> then next would be... Okay, more combat. We have full speed ahead. Nobody with movement abilities in the party. No skirmish right now. Okay. So we can fly a bit more forward, and the big thing is... I'm probably going to want... <clears throat> some overloads to destroy this thing. Oh, but it actually... Goes down pretty normally. Oh, okay. Cool. And do we? Okay. Well, I think that overall did it. And where are you? Oh, get over here already. That was kind of obnoxious. Come on, come on. Three. And yeah. Was the turret stay up? The damage is very capable. Not a problem. As long as. Okay. Then we have this one over here, which should still be fine. We has. Actually, it hasn't been that long because I was farming a bunch of Spectre Mats for Chiori, but. And I believe that the Rhythm Game event is on Watatsumi, too, so. Will be relevant again quite soon. Well, as in it is right now. Okay. It's actually. I wonder if Oz can. No, Oz can't. Put it. Cannot activate that pressure plate. Okay, cool. I think we should be able to get a few Songo purples from this. There we go, we got our Bond of Life a bit higher. Take a few pearls, just... One day I will get Kokomi. Okay, okay. It's no problem. How are you doing? Are you having a good day? Is... 
for you in class right now. <laughs> but, either way, good connection, bad connection. Just simply appreciate your presence. So, it's... And this is... that's good. What we gotta do is... Knock him down this way. Thank you, thank you, and... Come on. Oh, oh, wow. That's fun to get pushed off. And... okay, all you had to do was hold down a little. There we go. Okay. This one is gonna be helping out that kid. This will be alright. Come on, come on. <clears throat> Where are we? Check this out, check this out, and hello! Rocker wears, and this is a simple enough one. Let's see. Come on, come on. Let's go, let's go, let's go. And we will be slightly faster if we use this teleport to close some of the gap. And we'll... Quick movement over, thank you. And that'll be our last daily, and then I can go back and try to show off the platinum medal on the final. The first one of the combat event that I just could not manage. Okay, please, please, please. Okay, okay. I think the stamina should be back even if cooldowns didn't go. Yeah, yeah, that'll regenerate. It's interesting to see what regenerates during cutscenes and NPC communication what doesn't, because when I would do this with Scaramouche, he would not get the skill back while we were talking. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. <clears throat> That'll be it for today. Thank you, thank you. And then, and then, for here, over, put my rewards real quick, and that'll be all. Hello, hello. Play my rewards, and... Okay. Dendro Gem. I just want to see real quick. Now I have... It's a little... Almost 63, so that'd be 70, and then with... The... 39... So in theory I could get 118 rolls if I spent all of this star glitter I've picked up. I don't think I'll really need it. Well, I'll see, because again, Clorand and Sigwin and ideally both would be nice, but I can only hope for so much. Either way, I could have put in... Hmm... Same teams I used before, and I think Stormu should still have. If he still got Widzith, so the goal is actually show off a platinum medal on this. This teams are still there. You are, but we'll see. Hmm. Well, me too. Try this out. Hmm. Start this with that. And this is heavily reliant on how these enemies try to get me. Let's just go over there and thanks. Another plunge and then hit and uh, oh, trouble. Trouble. And we go like that. Like that and. Plunge, and over there, and... Okay, and we managed to get that, so let's just... Oh, goodness. Go over, hit them all with the Aggravate Swirl, and... That... Hmm... Close. Let's see if we can manage the rest over here. And guy, yeah, just over there, come on. And, come on, come on, and... Punch. And keep on going here. Thank you. More of these, and then we can. Thank you. Thank you, and then put down more. 
turrets. Thank you. Thank you. And we will take you down. Punch, 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 punch. And then we will get for that. Thanks. One, two, three. Kaza. Punch. And swirl. And then we go for that with the aggravate. And. Oh, wow. That was simple. And just. Nice blast. Mm -hmm. I... Hmm. That may have been a critical mistake. Oh, we'll see. Go over. Swirl. Get this on all of them and go for another aggravate swirl. And can we? Okay, who's next? You're next. Cool. I... We'll see how well this goes. But... Okay, cool punch. This kind of gives that whenever the opportunity, so. Come on. Over there, and. Can we shoot. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Punch. Keep on. Uh, this. This is trouble. It's gonna be trouble. And we. Screw over there. Get you, and. Come on, who's next? Mm, we didn't get that, but can we get a few of you? Couple. Okay, that might be good. Mm -mm, we got that's the four thousand breakpoint, which I think might make the difference. Depending on how lucky we got. Mm -hmm. For you. One over there and over that way, and then we blast and immediately just scroll with Skara. Thank you, thank you, and then we keep on trying to get over there. Thanks, thanks. I don't need that. And okay, cool. Can we go over there and hmm. oh goodness. And then go over and pass you. Hmm. Get, get, go over and dodge, dodge that. Okay, we missed a bit of our stuff, but at least we managed the dodge, which is kind of the important thing here. And one's that down, thank you. And then, okay, so where is, okay, you're over there, that did not work out great. Okay, and blast, Turn that up, and, hmm. Thank you, thank you. And then you're over there, we can just you know, spend more normals. Stay out of the way as much as possible. And thank you, thank you, thank you, and... Blast over there, nice. There we go, and just... Dodge all the way through, as many as possible, and just... There we go, okay, cool. Just gotta make sure we don't get staggered too much if we... Hmm. It's all about making sure we get as many attacks off as possible in the shortest amount of time. And we... Over there, and... Oh, goodness. And we... Over there, and... Hit, 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 hit. And then... One, two, and just charge that up. We have you... This... If it's possible, it's gonna be cut very, very close. And then we... Over there... Got down, and... One, two, and just blast you down, and one, two, then we, okay, and then we dodge that, okay, we, okay, cool, and we, you down, you down, and, okay, thanks, uh, uh, oh, well, alright, and we, I don't think that should have broken it, but, uh, I, and this, it's just very unreliable, it relies on getting the right stuff out of Witsit, and it just, uh, see? I'll try it again, but I did manage to get Platinum at some point, so not that worried. It's just... It'd be nice to have video proof. Hmm. Okay. This is a little bit involved, not just skill, so. Come on, come on. All about perfect play mostly, but even perfect play can only do so much. Okay. Then we go over there, and that is 
Good. There we have that, so that might actually make a difference, I think. Okay, and then we go over there. Another aggravate swirl, so. Plunge over there, and nice, nice, and you're over that way, so. Let's just go through that. One, two, three. Maybe we'll do that, sure. Thanks. Then, well, that will mess up some of these rotations, I think. And we can just two, three, one, two, and punch. Yeah, 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 yeah. And can we? Thank you. Nice. And we'll put these turrets back down and come on, come on. Plunge over there and yes. Okay. Over that way and then we plunge that way again and punch and like that. One, two, three. Kazo will plunge over there and just screw all that. And who's next? You're next. I like that. And we can try to aggravate, and uh, that did not quite work. Okay, well, alright. One, two, three, we hit it down, thanks. And we plunge and punch and mix the these out. See how far we can go, and then we go over there. The eye time, and for that, thank you, thank you. Punch, punch, punch. And we scroll that. Thank you for the EM. And just over that way. And next is you. And we punch. Wind muster. Iris. One, two, three. Take that down. Okay. Maybe we. Uh, I definitely messed that up. Then we scroll a few more. Thanks. And then we. Hmm. Oh. Few more, but I don't think. Hmm. Maybe a bit about luck. I wonder if I could have managed any more with better point and not messing that up. Other than by eating my own electro. Hmm. Okay. Go over here. Get down and blast that. Thanks. All about the grouping them somehow. And then, plus, and we got all of them at once, which is really, really good. Okay. Cool. 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 Mm -hmm. Tried to go for one edge, but it is what it is. Okay, and just over there. Mm -hmm. Made kind of a mistake there, but whatever. And then we there, and come on, come on, and then we take that, and then we just, okay, cool. Mm. I might have been able to strike that, I'm not quite sure. And then we just throw over there, thank you, and then we take that down, and swirl, thanks. Mm. Swirl's being strong is pretty good. And then, manage to prevent it from either draining our stuff or hitting us, which is good. And we, come on, come on, come on, and a little bit more, a little bit more, and then we punch that down, thanks, one, two, and then we do that. And we can get struck out, which was a real possibility, and just one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, okay, that was largely luck. We some bar. So then we take you down before any of that happens, and then we. Okay, cool. Nice. And. Last. Take that down. And... Okay, cool. Nice. I... Alright. Then we. Mm. Oh, really? What? At least that shouldn't be horrible, horrible? I wouldn't think, I hope. Come on, and blast you. Thanks. Take that and take that down. Okay, over there, and... Mm, Alright. Alright. Thanks. And then we... Oh, oh goodness. Uh, that was... Dangerous, 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 dangerous. And then we... Mm, how many more, how many more, how many more? And then... Take you down, and... Okay, cool. Take that down, and... Okay. Alright. Close, but... It's dangerous. Come on, just... And we... Ooh, ooh, ooh. Come on, how many more can we maybe get? 
Got one more we could. Oh, God damn it! That was painfully. Try one more time, but this was really painful. And it depends very heavily on getting good wood slip buffs. Mm. Lucky crits, rates of bumps. There's a lot of moving cards here. Okay. There we go. And that actually definitely a little bit better, but that mm, should have honestly been a little shooter about that. It is what it is. When we go over there, we take that down. And well, we can. A swirl of you, and then actually, that, hmm, well, it's interesting. And we, one, two, three, and we, hyper bloom, puncher, move on, down, down, and maybe if I could kind of rhythmically switch between the two of them, that would actually be better. And then we, over there, over there, take that down, and that down. I think that is actually the best way to make that work. Maybe. And we swirl you. Take that down and swirl over there. And then we punch. Take that down. Thank you. Thanks. And we, hmm, maybe if I. I should have used that instead. Well, pretend that didn't just happen. And over there, thanks. Thank you. And punch over there. And, mm, okay. Yeah. Over there, it. Yeah, it. This event is tough. I'm trying to show off how I was able to get a platinum medal. Because this was the last thing I did. Thanks for popping in. Okay, let me see real quick. Tonight. Thanks for the follow, by the way. Big Genshin fan. But essentially, I managed to get a Platinum Waddle on the first level out of six. This is... It's a tough event. You have to have a lot of characters built to really do it well, because each challenge focuses on, focuses on a specific element, and the enemy setups encourage using specific characters, too. It, it's complicated, and frankly... A little silly in the sense that if you don't have a strongly built roster, this event is tough to say the least. But it also means it allows you to use a lot of characters that you might not otherwise be using and get more use out of them. And I I appreciate that. Especially as someone with a decently built roster, but it Oh, well actually the thing about it is there's really never a reason to not level up your world. That if you have, even if you think you're gonna, you're kind of weak right now, you're gonna get a lot better rewards just by poking around, and it'll enable you to get stronger a lot faster in the end. Also, I'm pretty sure, it's been a while since I was at a low level, does having a low world level make these challenges easier, or? I, I'm, I'm a little confused. But the big thing is, is that it's not a huge issue. Yeah, and the real thing is that since I'm using Skarmish with Witset, a lot of my performance here is dependent on the buff I get from Witset and whether it's good for the setup or not, because it... Who knows, really? Okay, and that time I didn't wait. Yeah, and the reason this challenge is particularly annoying at times is because you need... Uh, oh goodness, and I got hit. That was exactly what I didn't want to happen. Is that... It depends on the random buff you get from Witsip to work. Hajime Mashtenshi, how are you doing? I am trying out this event and... Trying to show off a Platinum. I managed to get one on my own time, but... I want to... See how it works in particular. Also, I don't think I actually need... I might not need to use Bennett's skill. That might be a time loss. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Okay, good. I'm glad to hear that a car didn't hit you. 
If it did, I would be sad for a number of reasons, and not just because you wouldn't be able to watch me anymore. So, Huta Venti. Oh, Navia! Yeah, I, I like using Navia a lot. She's actually one of the characters you're encouraged to use in this event. So I got a good amount of use out of her. I, I'm actually uploading a clip later today to YouTube showing off beating Abyss after Navia died. To be fair, that was a few versions back, but I used to be a big Hutao guy. It, and to be fair, her build could use some improvement, but it, it feels like she's been power crafted at the very least. There hasn't really been an Abyss suited for in a while, which is sad as someone who likes Hutao. Yeah, it, he's good, he's good, undeniably. Okay, but the big thing is that it seems like I don't actually need... Okay, dodge out of the way of that. Okay. Yeah, but there are a few things more satisfying, honestly, than just using Navi as shotgun. It is honestly still ludicrous. Okay, the big thing is, is that I don't need Bennett's... Uh, I don't need to use Bennett's skill to get his burst back up, so that could be a minor but excellent time save. I think I'll try this one more time then, we'll see. And then we... Come on, come on, come on, and then we... We were so close. So close. I'm gonna try that one more time. Yeah, Venti! Who, who town Venti, now that you mentioned Venti? Yeah, of being an American who's obsessed with guns. Yeah, keep on going, keep on going. Go ahead, you're such an enlightened European. Teach us, teach us what it's like to be a civilized human being. But, Venti, Venti, Venti's cool. What can I say? You were gonna say it eventually. I'm just preempting you. I'm making sure. I'm making sure that the joke is slightly different. Oh, I messed that up. Okay, the big thing is that on here, I can't use Nahida's skill unless Kanzu's burst is already up. Because if I do, if I do, it'll prevent Kanzu's burst from absorbing Electro and totally mess stuff up. Oh, oh, are you trying to get Elegy? That's a good choice. I like that. Okay, punch. Mmm, that didn't quite work. Well, whatever. Should still be able to salvage this, we'll see. Go for punch and throw that around. I, I love using Venti too. But again, it's been a while since there's really been content suited for him because the devs know how strong he is when you use- Okay, we messed that up. Every time that happens, we need to get all four of those fungi in our burst, in our swirl. Oh, it was in Yordi. I didn't see that. Yordi got Elegy. Well, actually, you, you only need to get it four more times, because there's no such thing as refinement zero. The minimum refinement level is one, so you only need four more. That might not be great comfort, because it still means getting four more of a five-star weapon, but still. I like... I... I used to use a Morgana team a lot. If you know Morgana, it's Diona, Venti, Mona, Ganyu. Because it makes really good use of crowd control for both Ganyu and Venti because of the way their kits work. Because for Venti, it's just getting a bunch of scrolls off, but for Ganyu, it's a matter of... Let's see. For Ganyu, the reason it's good is... For Burst, will deal more hits to enemies when they're grouped up together. It has what people call quadratic scaling. In the sense that there's a very small AoE and you can hit a lot of enemies at once if you do things right. It's quite strong. But it's... And the grouping is very important and in addition to that... You need... Good buffs. Okay, okay. Well, in the end, it's... Your engagement with the game should be based on how much fun you're having. Don't push yourself. Unless you enjoy it. Oh, oh, gone you with... Amos Bow? It... It's good on a number of people. It's actually pretty good on Tinari, if I recall correctly. So if you want to use him, you could use him with that, I think. Then we can go over there and punch with Hazel. One, two, three, put that down. Go for a few more swirls, get over there. 
Okay. Well, also, you don't even play the game anymore. I'm not sure how any of this is relevant. But the big thing is that you were talking about being weak in a way that implied you didn't like being weak. If you, if you didn't mind, that's one thing, but it seemed like you had a problem with that. So that actually, that's the way to do it. We get more bloom seeds that way. Let's go over there. LG Wolves, Zhao's. Oh, Primordial Jade. That's good. And this actually, I think, should be better because we have the eye trigger the hybrid bloom as well off the old. And then we can see how this will work. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, Amos! I wanted Amos a while ago, back when I used Yanni more often. I don't really use her anymore, though, is the thing. Two, three, and just. Can we swirl over there, swirl over there, and just over a slash? Ah, oh, that didn't quite work. Oh. Well, to be fair, a Puma might be better on Hutao, but Primordial Jane is about as good for general use, and I think better in some cases. In particular, if I recall correctly, Arlequino is really good with Primordial Jade Wing Spear. Second best to her signature. And I think she's better with it than Homa. Because it's... She's not really going to get under half health. In the same way as some like Utao. Because she's fragile enough that you can't really afford to be that much of a daredevil while playing her. And in addition to that, you also... She has self-healing. Which makes that a little less viable. Instead of Arlequino. It... That implies he didn't want a Harbinger, Harbinger, which... Questionable, questionable. I... I actually went in at the recommendation of a viewer to try to get uh, Orlikino's weapon, which I didn't think was going to happen, and it was I was really surprised when it happened, and oh my goodness, that was a waste of a burst. We can see if we can salvage this, I'm not all that hopeful. And then, I think, there are a lot of interesting theories which you may or may not have seen, about the idea of Harbinger Diluc or Harbinger Preface. Essentially, the idea that uh, Diluc was either a Harbinger at some point or had the opportunity of becoming one, because there still is. You've still never got explanation on why Crepus uh, had a delusion. It's still one of the mysteries of the game, even this many years on, which is kind of crazy. There it. Not everyone likes evil characters, it's a matter of personal taste. Okay, and then we just throw over there, and come on, just get some of those, and cool, thanks. And then, the big thing is, I guess the question is, what do you think about Scaramouche? Do you still consider him a harbinger, or what? And then we can go down there, and thanks, thanks. Church up uh, 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 how many more can we? No. And then we... Uh, this end is kind of hard. The big thing is that it's hard to get the right things swirled. Mm, well, I think we might be able to get it. Might be able to get this, so... Go over, because not using Bennett's Burst, I think, should help a little. And then we can try to turn these up, and see how many we can... Oh, we need... One more, one more enemy, and oh, I, uh, we were, okay, we barely got that platinum. There we go, there we go, nice. I mean, in the end, in the end, the only member of the Fatuli who is probably going to be irredeemable evil, and there we go, slightly worse platinum than we got last time, but platinum's there, is that Scaramouche, like, like you said, he has trauma, and also wanted some level of redemption for some of his actions. In particular, and a lot of people oversimplify this or miss the distinction, what he wanted absolution for, sort of to repair, was the trouble he caused people in Tadarasuna, like Ni like Niwa and the other guy, I think, Katsuragi, Katsuragi and Niwa in Tadarasuna when he was living there over in Inazuma. But he doesn't feel any remorse for what he did destroying the sword schools in Inazuma to get revenge against his mom, which I think is interesting and legitimate. It adds a bit of moral complexity, especially because 
His mom literally did abandon him. And the fact that the world entirely forgot him means that we're probably not going to get resolution to that plotline. Which is a shame because it really adds to the whole Raiden Uwu thing that I dislike. That they were unwilling to really reckon with the consequences of Raiden's actions. And they said, oh yeah, it was just the Shogun bot doing it all. They were too afraid to make her morally complex. I'm glad that they did that with Arlequino. I... It was... I think it was maybe a bit of a misstep for them to backtrack on the whole execution thing. But I like that she's still kind of an unpleasant and cruel person, even if she still does have strong morals and values. But yeah, Dettore is... I doubt that they're gonna really ever redeem him. If they make him playable... One thing they might maybe do is... I don't know, give him memory loss or a really big head injury and make the case that he's sort of a different person. Kind of similar to Wanderer. Oh, that? I'm sorry to hear that. That, no, nobody deserves to be put through that kind of thing. But, that's fair, that's fair. Well, I will say, whether you like Scaramouche or not, he's a fun character to play. Well, Wanderer. Bless you. And... Being able to fly around is very, very convenient. But I think the next thing I'm going to show off is that they added a new quest line this version that's a follow-up to Garcia's Pian. If you remember, if you've done it, or if you haven't, there is... And the team I'm running right now is... Actually, I might switch to more recent, more Fontaine-associated characters. But this right now is... Well, it's less that he likes a cat, more that he's sort of similar to a cat. In the sense, because did he did he play his Archon Quest, his sort of pseudo story quest Archon Quest, where he? Wait, this is the wrong team. This is my Toma version team. Yeah, in case in case you didn't know, Toma's meta now. Toma's actually been meta for some time because he's the only character, except for maybe Dio, which is even more of a joke. He can reliably trigger virgin reactions, which I have some fun with. Big thing is is. I'm not sure where these towers are supposed to be, or if that's supposed to be a ship. This is Lumadusa. I mean, if this is Ramara time, this might be a bit of Sneznaya? Yeah, it... In the end... And I don't mean this in a gatekeeping kind of way. It's best to experience a good deal of what the characters have to offer in story before forming, like you said, a concrete opinion of them. Yeah, it... It was a very, very good one. I will say that things that have made me cry in this game include the Pale Flame and Bloodstained Chivalry artifact lore, Baiju and Dia's story quests, and the end of the Fontaine Archon quest. Those were huge. But the big thing is that I don't think it's really a spoiler, given that, you know, Arlequino, Linny, Lynette, Fremine are all playable still for two characters, and Tartaglia has been around for a while. But Fontaine especially has been setting the seeds for further traveler cooperation with the Fatui. I'm pretty sure that everyone with the Fatui, except for Dottori, is going to be more sort of moral shades of grey, sort of well-intentioned extremist more than evil evil. Oh, okay, yeah, don't don't rush. Don't feel pressure to rush, especially now that you can do boss domains without having a complete story quest. I mean, Archon quests. Just go at your own pace. But... Yeah, yeah. You miss a lot of things, but in the end, there are a lot of people, myself included, who think that the empty 10th Harbinger slot, because we know 13 Harbingers, but it's possible that Piero might be a 0th seed instead of a 10th seed or 1st seed or something, because he's the director, which means that there'd be a 10th seed open, which people think might either be... Well, whether or not it was previously for Krapis or Dilo, because there are a lot of people saying it's a seat reserved for the Traveler, which I think is very, very possible, because among other things, it explains why the Fatui have never tried to really kill the Traveler. If their intention was always to sway them, it would make that make a lot more sense. But either way, this guy is working on a computer. It... Do not insult yourself by comparing yourself to MatPat. Whenever anyone brings up MatPat, I feel pressure to say that MatPat was is, or at least was, a fraud and a thief. At least he didn't demean himself enough to really go into Hello Neighbor, a game that was in, that was made just for him. But, in a bad way, but the theory about 
Luigi and Rosalina being married, or, no, no, of Luigi and Peach being married and Rosalina being their kid, was directly stolen without citation from a tiny European gaming blog called Kinsman Games. A blog post which might not be up anymore called The Secret of Princess Rosalina. And that is why I will never respect MatPat. I think I think we talked about that before. Petricor first. Yep, and Garcia is from Petricor. Javier and Felix. Felix Yog was from a couple events. He was a that sort of cure puzzle guy. And Javier is the guy I've seen around. The film guy! I love Javier. I like... What, what if they made Javier playable somehow? What if they gave him a kit based around films? They'd have to give him a new model. And honestly, I don't think they make a lot of adults. I don't know, the big thing is, is that it's nice to have non-vision wielder NPCs who show up repeatedly and have relevance. Maybe if they had low star playable characters or something. Well, here's the thing. Here's the thing. To that lore is planned out in advance and except for very specific cases like the Inazuma questline which was retconned, but for the better. They don't change things just to surprise people. Things are very obviously planned, planned in advance to their benefit. When it's known that, or at least highly suspected, that Scott Cawthon changed something because Matt Pat predicted it and he didn't like that. Well, Ron and Jet... Jet already has a different enough character design. And I think... I think playable Jet is a matter of time. Because she was in that Valentine's Day post. Just like Enjo. They'd better make Enjo playable. Especially now that we have a lot of characters. Not just Archons who don't have visions. And still have elemental powers. The big one is of course Nubiet. Mild spoiler I guess. Suggestions are inspiring. Worst case scenario two receptacles. Pour your troubles in. To McContry and the Beast, the Cannons guy. Celestia Cannon guy. Blazing Brantley, blazing a trail like a wildfire through dry tinder. The funny thing about this is that, like I mentioned before, there was a gear puzzle event called Evermotion Mechanical Painting about two years ago. And the characters that he's mentioning here were first name dropped there. In connection with Petricor, which is crazy. The level of planning that they do. You know, the breadcrumb trail for things that pay off years later. Well, it's because occasionally, and this is my personal take that I have heard and read other people repeat, is that if people can predict, being predictable is not necessarily bad if it has to do with something like thematic consistency. If people think X and X will happen because it would be consistent with the themes of the work, then that's not necessarily a bad thing, because it means your work is consistent, that it has a consistent meaning. But there are some people who like to rely on shocks and cheap twists, and in that case, the twists are merely for surprise. It's not any greater point, it's just suspense. Which isn't all that bad, but for better or worse, it does mean that there's a bit more of an incentive to change, especially if you have, frankly, a bit of a fragile ego as a creator. Wildfire through Dry Tinder, last letter to me, intelligent man from the Institute arrived in Petricor. I think that was... not Broglie, it might have been... I forget his name, but he was the old... Yeah, shock value. That the old director who people hated is there. Also, also, no pressure, but there is a... there is a fan cord for keeping track of schedules and announcements in case things get changed around. So if you're interested in sticking around to enjoy the show... Might want to pop in. Also, on Thursday around this time, I will be in Dawncraft, a Minecraft mod pack, probably taking down the Ender Dragon with a friend and the heavily buffed Ender Dragon, so if that interests you, interests you at all, feel free to pop back in. Bosue? Yep, it's Bosue. In this, he was the old director of the Institute, and people hated him because he sucked. They only have bad directors, it seems. Except for the new ones. Except for the new ones. Knowledgeable perspective, resolve a number of issues, as for me... Hmm. Right, because the Daydream Club wouldn't be associated with the Institute. Return to Fontaine. Saw this guy first in Leeway a few years ago, then he was in Samara around a couple years ago, and then... Now he's back home in Fontaine. Unexpected meeting, never imagined we'd see you in Fontaine. Timing is as impeccable as always. Truly impeccable timing, happy to see you. Exhausted, dark circles around their eyes, don't have any energy. Yeah, yeah, Garcia! 
As in, have you seen him before in other areas in the game, or is the name just otherwise ringing a bell for you? He was by Wangshu In, with the sky. And then he does, and there are a lot of commissions relating to him in Sumeru, with their own sort of conclusion at the end, and after that... Well, to be fair, if you haven't gotten the quest line done, it won't be an issue for you, but the big thing is, they added this quest, this version, and you have to do a couple more of the sort of follow-ups after the end of the quest to unlock this one, but it doesn't track your progress from before the patch, so even if you finish this quest line, you need to go back and do it again. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, all NPCs kind of look the same. Manage you left at all? Maybe they need more coffee. What's wrong? Research encountered unprecedented problems. Very long story, plan to go to the opera at the clinics, help them close their books. It's not quite a place to sit down and- Oh, I need to- I forgot to put my fan down to cool off the computer. It hasn't been a problem yet, but it might be later. Give me ten seconds. Okay, okay. Yeah, it... It was sad, but... It was really a dry run for them trying to do better writing, because the thing with Tepe is that... We get introduced to him, and then he dies in about half of the quest line. And that... Prevents a lot of the attachment that they want you to have. It's nice with... Junior Zod at least had a couple of quests. We, we saw her early, and then... For the length of the second, there was questions about whether she would die, even though she didn't. And it... Oh, sorry, I think that... I hope I didn't spoil anything for you. Uh, yeah, yeah, close, close yours, close yours. But the big thing is, is that the emotional storytelling gets better, and exactly, it gets better and better and better. But Dia's quest line is very, very good, Dia's story quest. In part, precisely because... You see her a lot during the Sumeru Archon quest. She is there for a while, which makes it hurt all the more that, frankly, she sucks gameplay-wise. They did her dirty for no reason. Well, the big thing is, you have a treat to look forward to with Sumeru Archon quest. Fontaine is about as good, a little bit better, a little bit worse in some ways, but... Sumeru is where the game's writing actually gets good. There are people who theorize that they did it because of racism, which is honestly questionable because if that was an issue for them, they just wouldn't have put her in the game in the first place, probably. Or at least wouldn't have made her playable, or... It... It's long, but it's not... I wouldn't say it really bongs you down. The big thing is that being longer gives it more time to develop, because Inazuma's biggest issue was being rushed. But the big thing is that... <sighs> the original Eastern player base likes Dia a lot. They liked her a lot as a character, you know, even if you're going to talk about... You know, bigotry in other cultures, which is always... A fraught discussion, because it can lead to a lot of sort of cultural chauvinism, you know. But... The most convincing theory that I've heard is either that they just couldn't figure out a way to make her quest work, make her kit work, or they were doing a test to see whether they could get someone to roll for, get people to roll for a character just because they like their character, even if their kit was bad. It is what it is. Either way, you know, I use Dia on a team with Lenny. Honestly, just as an excuse to be able to use her. She works as a battery and is hard defense and for. Interruption resistance for Linny, which, given that Linny can't make use of Zhongli and Kaza at the same time without severely taking his damage down, helps. You know, it lets me actually use Dia at least somewhere, but she's still arguably not the best option. It is what it is. Yeah, well, I think people are saying Fiorina might be on next patch 4.7, so I think you might be able to get your redemption, hopefully. Don't have a chat, other work to do, call the work here and there to assist with various calculations. Whole host of troops, urgently need to sell their accounts, cover the cost of returning, set the commission. 
cannon, eradicate an anthill, simple chalk do them in an afternoon without using the computer. We had a race fund, set off right away, trouble you to accompany us. Reputation preceding us, managed to avoid running into any unnecessary trouble. Repeat remuneration, shouldn't run into any trouble in the city. Make hasty assumptions, we should get going. Okay, go to the opera. Yeah, so the rhythm game event might be on right now. But it won't be fully unlocked until around Friday, but I think I'll be doing it on Sunday evening. Oh, okay. What bet? As in losing the 50-50, or...? A bet regarding Venti, and as you can see, we actually got the fountain to level 50, which is why we've got these side sprays on, which is nice. Magnificent, quite pretty sum. So off we get to work. Once we're done, return to Petricor, back up, open up a bakery, and never touch another numbering machine again. What's wrong? Look like he's seen a ghost. That is... Oh, it's the gal from Samaru! Garcia's... Garcia's girlfriend. Really is a ghost. Did she follow him, or...? No, I think their troops set off. Kinda, kinda, yep, yeah, exactly. So he's about to get all flustered. What's she doing here? What? Coincidence. Just said it wasn't particularly polite. Shut it, and... What kind of resolution is gonna come here? Pleasure to bump into you, and you too. Come to help the opera house settle accounts. Account when it settles the troops. Oh, wow. And... Wait, so... Do you not have him fully leveled yet, or... Are you gonna try to use the Cecilia's for some kind of ritual? Oh, oh, okay, I didn't read all the way through. That's fair, that's fair. In the end, I think... I think Albedo's... Recipe... Okay, okay, Albedo's recipe needs... Cecilia's, I think. Some Brett, I may be wrong. Settle is, of course, not true. Never performed here. Oh, okay. Well, I was wrong. Not the top to watch opera in his spare time. Hire to work here. Bottom. Okay, okay. Albedo is... Albedo's fun, but... He... He's usually a downgrade of Chiori. As long as you have a Geo Construct in the party or C1 Chiori. I do like having him, and I actually often run him and Chiori together. Because it works well for a modern Geo team, but it's tough. Suitable accompanying this gentleman than I am. Which one of us is irreplaceable? Happy to see you. Don't look all that happy, I must say. Hit a snag, how do you figure that out? Be unhappy to see me, or because of your Wutong. Only thing to make him unhappy is the numbering machine. See each other, not the toughest nut to crack. Yeah. Cafe to sit down and chat, not something can be explained in just a few words. Very happy, but. Quite simple, handle them all myself. Can't make her stand there and wait for us to finish. Consider it, bring you back a cup of coffee, enjoy your drink. They leave together, so in the meantime, we'll talk to him. For coffee like that, nothing to do with us from the start. What are we even doing here? So your actual commission, cooking ingredients, parts. Take some pictures! <laughs> yeah, let's pick the funny option. Ingredients, parts. Very amusing, don't want to waste your time. Actually in danger. Discuss it over there. Actually, what I want to see... The cafe would be Cafe Wutes. So I want to see, actually, if they could actually be over there. Because sometimes they actually pay attention to where NPCs are supposed to be. And... No, it doesn't appear that they're actually here, which is sad. It'd be really funny if there's some sort of special dialogue, like... What are you doing over here? You were supposed to be working on the commission. Don't interrupt our hot date. Okay. 7, 8, 10. What I will say is that... Generally, for a lot of animo-based characters... And even though it's still... You still get more damage out of... Out of them from leveling their talents. Is that... I guess the question is, do you have a crit build on him? Or a... Or an elemental mastery build on him? Because with an EM build, the swirl damage isn't going to be affected by his talent levels. And I still have my Venti at 999 9, 9 talents. And of course, you know, the first one is just for fun, because he never uses charge shots. But the, his talent damage is going to be... Okay, smart. That 
you can still kind of run a crit build, and I remember many, many years ago, they actually buffed reactions very heavily, or EM specifically when Kaza came out to make Kaza more useful because he is a heavily reaction-based character. Before that, I believe Crit Venti was actually better, but EM is definitely much better now. The thing about it is, EM takes a bit more grinding, but it's better and a lot more reliable most of the time. Crit might be easier to get, but I'm pretty sure that in the end it'll be a bit worse. We'll see. Be fine here. The big thing is that, like I said, if you're fighting a big group of enemies, your damage will scale exponentially with every enemy there is. Because every enemy that gets swirled is another swirl AoE in there, which means one additional hit that every single enemy in the vortex takes. So, for example, one enemy, it's going to be one swirl. With two enemies, it's going to be two swirls on each that both are going to get hit by. So four instances of damage in total. With three, that's nine, so it's just, it's just the square, it's quadratic scaling, but either way. Either way, it's really, really good on groups. Kui Xing Zhao Zhang Wing. Well, what I would say is that if you wanted to run him Dendro, I would put him with Dendro and Electro to get Aggravate Swirls. You could run him with something like Kole Lisa and maybe Dendro Traveler or another Electro. And you could get a bunch of enemies in the Vortex. And as long as you could reliably swirl Electro, which might mean you needed to apply Electro before using his Burst, probably. Then you could apply Dendro to all of them to get the Quicken Aura up. Yeah, Fischl would be really, really good. Something like Kole, Venti, Fischl, Lisa could be a very effective team, because you'd get be getting a lot of very high damage Aggravates out of all of them. Because Aggravate is a flat amount of damage to every addition. Well, on every proc, it added to every proc, which on Venti is very, very good. Because every individual hit he's going to deal isn't going to do all that much damage, which means Aggravate is going to increase that damage by a lot, percentage-wise. Dendro, Electro. All Dendro reactions, except for Burning and arguably Burgeon, are really, really good. As in Bloom, Hyper Bloom, Aggravate, Spread, all very, very strong. Actually, if you ran an Aggravate team, they would have incredible synergy. If you're worried about having one team that's too strong and not having a second team that's good for something like Abyss, that might be more relevant. But if you're just trying to do stuff, 100% put Nahida with Venti. Because Nahida's elemental mastery boost would really help Venti out. You put that down, you put Venti in, get a little bit more EM on Venti, get some aggravates going with Fischl and Lisa. So what I would imagine rotation-wise would be something like, you put... Venti, Nahida, Fischl, and then maybe Lisa as your on-fielder. Yeah, because she could hit enemies in Venti's bursts with no problem because she has ranged attacks. So I would imagine your rotation could go something like, depending on how much energy recharge you want to put on Lisa, something like either probably just a standard normal with Lisa apply Electro, and then you... Put down Nahida's burst field for the EM buff. You put down Venti, E, then Q to get the scroll going. Put Electro on it. You put down Fischl and then Nahida, have Nahida apply her seed. And then all of those enemies are going to take really fast aggravate damage from just the burst and then having Lisa go on field. Shinobu's good, but, and if it's just for overworld, it would be worth it. She wouldn't be hitting anyone in Venti's burst, I'm pretty sure. That could be an issue. But in the end, it's if you're just doing overworld stuff, you don't need anything all that crazy. Dumbering Machine, come on leaps and bounds, naturally excited, continue improving. Just missing structure, traditional mechanisms, actually quite limited. No longer making new performance breakthroughs, return to Fonte, new inspiration, research ideas, probably new moves, yeah. Turn approached by a strange fellow, research funds, other research partners, and was this... I wonder if this guy was... Forget his name. I think it was Nate or something. Yeah. Especially since if it's a reaction based team, you really want to take enemy your characters to 90. Any reaction other than Vaporize and Melt 
gets a lot of additional damage from just pure levels, and a lot from 80 to 90. She partners with Lisa, you can actually run Instructor as a 4-star set on her if you really want. If... I'm gonna send a link to the team building spreadsheet that I use. It... There's only... It's mostly cursory. There are more in-depth guides, guides on sites like Touching Mains. But it's a very, very good start. This is where I go for team builds. Designs and data within. No way to accept it. Up to no good. Maybe Petuli. Could be. I bet they might be associated with Sandrone. Plannings get go. Theft plain and simple. Exactly. Refuses the offers. Someone following us. Broke into our room while we were out searching our belongings. The place as it was. Discovered traces of their actions. When given to him, now he just wants to take it. We're moved in search. Make enough money to get out of here. Return to Petroport as soon as possible. The other people of the Daydream Club solve the problem together. Sure, Mr. Garcia's a home turf. No safer place to be. On a set off, come on, this protection. On Nakaya, take her back to the city. How can I help? Mm -hmm. Still on your departure, find him and click him. Like I said before, reputation preceding us. What running into trouble? Not in any real danger, are they? Well, I'll go over right away. Praise her the situation, and I'll be for her to decide. City as soon as possible. Well, Petricor is a city of the arts. So, frankly, I presume. It wouldn't be all that bad for her to stay there, but we'll see. So now they're here. Oh, and it's called Where His Life Lies, because he's returning. Returning to Petricor. <laughs> oh, nice. I didn't even think about that yet. But yeah, the big thing is, and you may know this already, but crowd control effects like Venti's Burst... We, Venti's Burst, Jeans, Hold E, and Sucrose's Vortexes, most Vortexes in general... You can only grab enemies that are a maximum of 20 levels above you. Which means that 80 is usually going to be safe if you have to skip out a little, but 90 is always worth it, I would say. Poisson Garcia, hat in front of him beside that table next to the counter. It's in the hat. The past few days, just call the police. This course of action, and one nearby, report it to men. Ah, oh, the, the Malicine. He knows what's going on, willing to help us, present... Don't they'll try anything too extreme. Order the Menth. Go speak with Garcia. Let's get going. Look for Menth. Oh, and she's up over there. I wonder what would happen if we actually approach this guy directly. Suspicious man. What is it? Has something happened? So are they between or... What are they gonna say? At your service. What do you plan to do next? Ascertain the identity of those people. Report the case. They need leads in order to follow up. Too large for the gods to protect us everywhere. Kai's involvement more complicated. So we Fontaine proceed with our original plan. Obviously, she's just gonna stick around. Research at a dead end. No way to further increase performance. Practical applications. Any great things to accomplish. Never concern himself with practicalities. One of the reasons he suffers, but also the reason he's such a perfect frustrated researcher. So... Hmm. Goodbye, thanks. Counting on you. See you and... What's up? Why do you look so upset? Nothing a bit too strong. Hmm. Here would be Menth. Try this out. How may I help you? Long story short, there's a suspicious man. All that has happened. About Mr. Garcia, head over to gather. Hmm. Very least, scare off that suspicious fellow first. Meet up with Garcia's group. They're over there, and oh, okay, we couldn't go to talk to the suspicious man individually because we just got sucked into a cutscene. Thank you. But as soon as he got sight of you, you're really doing my job. Get the city quickly, return to Petrocourt with due haste, losing their patience, resort to drastic measures. Squared at Spears, response within a few days, a few officers to escort you. Here's to take care of in the city, only part of the route, not all the way, so I'll probably help them. Somewhere safe to stay, discussing may take some time, I can protect them. You by our side won't dare do anything too rash. Look at the truth, go to Petricor, what about her? Or she'll go with them. Yep, exactly. And sincerely, please don't. Don't bother, like your boss, can't be persuaded. Do dangers we might encounter, but 
And for me. Okay, I'll do that real quick. I'll check real quick. Tend to abandon, nothing but a composition with neither beginning nor end. Machine generated music. Hmm. Not the AI. Hmm. While coming along, so my piece, where shall we go next? Samira, completely steamrolled Garcia, doesn't stand a chance against her. Doesn't even want to win. Where do you find a suitable place to stay? With lots of people to try. Hotel, quite busy. Discovered immediately more about your numbering machine. Settled, have been solved, all of our problems. Take this advanced deposit, sit off, time comes, I'm counting on you. Even more problems than before. So the next one will come about after a daily reset, so I'll do it on Sunday. Okay, let me see. Check that out. Can I? One, zero, two, seven, one, three, ninety. Let me see. Oh, I'm glad to see you successfully boiled your cup noodles. Name cards. I like the Mondstadt ones. Shazu, care about your exploration. It's good, EM. Yeah. Hey, Dragon's Bane. Dragon's Bane is good on Hu Tao, too. I think that... Uh, R5 Dragon's Bane is... Might be about as good as Primordial. Depends on how much crit rate you need. In the end... Let me just see. Yeah. Dragon's Bane is considered... Better than Primordial Jade Wing Spear. As long as you have it R2 or higher, and you have R5. So this should generally be better for you. If... You're interested in going Battle Pass? That's fair, but... There are... Other characters you can use it better, especially because this R5 Dragon's Bane is literally better than Primordial for Hutel. She doesn't get a lot out of normal attack stats. Bound of the Fjords. And Bound of the Fjords, the new Battle Pass Spear, is really good on her, too. And then, Quaff. Okay, well, in that case, Dragon's Bane is good. The big thing is, is. Quaff is good on her, obviously, though I'm sure you know, you should probably upgrade to 5 stars, but she actually, unless you're using her burst a lot for AoE, which, honestly, you should probably be running her in single target most of the time anyway, she's actually a bit better with Shimanawa. And VV, and that's good again, Morgul is better, LG is good, it just... Fischl... Scoured Harp's good on her, but... And you do have Golden Troop, that's good. Again, 5 star. Tenacity. A full Tenacity set would be good, though I'm sure you know. Throwing Tails. You know what you're doing. You know what you're doing here. Levels would get more HP, but... Gravestone. I... Serpent Spine is better, but... Like you said, that's not really an option, so... Wolves is the best option you have for her, then. And you gave her... That's the right artifact set. Ningguang's alright. Witsith. Yeah, Witsith is good on her. That's her best vibes. Actually, Solar Pearl is better, but again, no battle pass. I'm pretty sure that Ningguang is the best with Navi as her artifact set here. Okay. Emblem on Xingqiao, and... Okay. Prototype. Qua For Bennett, you want Noblesse. Because his damage is not going to be relevant. But you do have a Noblesse circled on here, which I assume would be an attempt at progressing towards that. But for Bennett, Prototype Rancor. Thav Sword can be good on him, but his best 4-star option most of the time is going to be that you could meaningfully get right now? Actually... Finale of the Deep is... No, no, wait, wait. Yeah, you'd want Sapwood Blade. Sapwood Blade. Right, right, right. Sapwood Blade. It's the Sumeru Craftable Sword from the Arnyaka quest line, but you can get it without doing the whole quest line. Fav is good on Xing Chao. If I recall correctly, Fav is better when he's in a... 
when he's the only Hydro on the team, but if you have multiple Hydro characters, he's better off with Sacrificial so he can get more Hydro Particles for them too. If you're running him with Yeowon or something on a team like Zhang Wei Yeowon, Xing Chao Huta, which I run decently often, you would want him with Sacrificial. Let's check. Oh, that... That crit is very, very... And I think it's Quan Kart because of Primordial, but... Especially since she has crit substats, you should go for a crit rate circle. The big thing is, is... Okay, okay. And I see you're doing it at least at times, but it's very important to try to use off pieces that you can always have one piece that isn't part of the set because it's a four piece. There's no benefit for five piece. So if you have one off piece, which is usually going to be the goblet, circle it, or sands just so you can target a different main stat than you might have with the normal artifacts that you'd like them to be using, you can use one off piece to try to get better main stats or subsets. That's the idea, least. What kind of cup of noodles were they? I think... Before I do... One hangout quest I think I want to get done today would be Toma's. There's also a tiny bit of Sumeru that they added, which is mostly empty, but there are some things in there, and there's also Petrichor to check out. There's also, up here we have our... Could I get up here easily? We'll see. There's also... Let me see. Chicken and beef. Chicken and beef together. Oh, so they were Nissan, Nissan cup noodles, I assume. But either way, I... I'm gonna do my request and bounties real quick. And then do Tomas and see how long that takes me. Commission again. Let's do reputation here and then... Hunting quest for his life. Is, and this one is going to be... In Petricor proper, I believe. We'll see. So this week's bounty is... This is going to be... Vulnerable to Geo increased damage from bow wielding characters. So that is something we could use the Lenny team with. Okay, let me see. Alright. Ha. Huh. A quest for Mjorn. Get more butter. Galate. Salt. We off. Killing Mecha. So this would actually be an opportunity for me to briefly show off the team I use Dia on, which... The big thing is just... She's there for a bit of more defense for Lenny because he's so fragile. It works pretty well. So, Lenny, Kaza, and then Dia. Actually, Bennett, then Dia. That should be good. She has a fab <laughs> greatsword on her and a tenacity set with a crit circle to hopefully trigger fab more often. That's how I run her. I run her as pure support. Her artifacts aren't even leveled all the way because, frankly, they didn't really have to be. But the, the thing about Dia is that if you want to run her for damage, you need higher constellation levels, and even then, she underperforms. And it's not until C4 or higher that she would actually use Vorakash instead of Emblem of Separate Fate, even though it's supposed to be her best artifact set, just because her energy requirements are insanely, insanely onerous. So, get over here and Use that, thank you. Then we over there and plunge that down. Good for you, and then we can get a couple of times with that and another one and boom. And that's all. Cool. It is a pretty fun team. It's not crazy crazy. Well, I'd hope not. But yeah, so this Bennett has he's got Skyward Blade, which Works decently, gives him some, some energy recharge. That makes sense. I, to be fair, given that Venti is a sub DPS, as I'm sure you know, 
even if you'd be putting most of the damage out, it's important to know who your on fielder is. I'm gonna pile on that. The Numa Usia. That's over there. I guess the question is what team would I wanna use here? I think actually. Mm -hmm. Let's try a Navi team. So just like this. The official. Yeah, okay. Oh, but we. Right, deal is still in there. Hutao, Venti, Kokomi. Yeah, I. The idea of running Kokomi and Hutao together is a little frightening, I'll say. But. Uh, so, Toma Shung Chao. I think I mentioned this before. But Toma is actually quite good if if you run run him Virgin. I don't think I have a team up right now in my team slots, but I run him with Baiju, Nahida, and Xing Chao. And it, it's situational. It requires the right enemy setup to work, but deals a lot of good damage, and it's relatively free to play. So if and Toma would be using Flower Paradise Lost, so that's how you do it. But it's a strong team. Well, because I presume she, God bless her, didn't know that much about what she was doing. Okay, okay. Oh, oh. So, how long you've been playing then? You said back in those years. I think what she might have been thinking of was... Okay, okay. What she may have been thinking was... Since Hutao consumes her, her own HP... That it might be good to have a healer to compensate for that, but... Okay, okay. Well, if so, I hope you're enjoying things. Yeah, I was... I started around... Just I think it was actually... Where was it? Hi. Hmm. I think I started in 21, 2021 too, yeah. I started at the end of Yua's first banner. Which would have been 1.5, I believe. Do water and power Numa, grant resistance decrease, so we could use Rathesley for that actually. We could use the Rathesley Shenha team. That could be fun to check out. If you want to do that, feel free, no pressure. But does she play more often? Yeah, get her to get her to watch the stream. I could always use more fans. Get that CCV up and get closer to affiliate. Okay. Let me see, let me see. Let's just... Come on, Favalance, Favalance, and... She needs Favalance too. Oh, Honkai, Honkai, interesting. Wait, Honkai 3rd or Honkai Star Rail? As they can be easy to mix up. Is I... Oh, wow. Yeah, that... Well, generally speaking... Oh, oh, wow. That's hardcore. That, that's beyond even me. One of the things about Hongai that I find interesting, but kind of scary, is that its equivalent of Abyss is actually competitive. Okay, well, let's go over here and just for that way. Thank you. And, oh, goodness, didn't want that to happen. So we can just do that and thank you. I didn't expect that to stagger, actually. One, two, oh, well, we have ah, forgotten that. One, two, three, four, and punch. Good damage, good damage. Who has... Hmm. Needs a little bit more. Thank you. Then, we can go collect our rewards, but... I know a lot of people play Star Rail. And a lot of people have recommended it to me, but... It might be a relatively unintensive... Oh, Seal Collection. Okay. Seal... Seal's a cool character. 
I... I guess they kind of split Seal's traits between Fiorina and Arlecchino in the sense that Arlecchino has a scythe and Fiorina has two personalities. So there are a lot of people thinking that Fiorina was going to try to be a sort of a Seal clone in the same way that Denti is kind of like Wendy, Zhongli is maybe like Velt to some people. You know, Raiden is Raiden and Nahida is Teresa. Some people say that Fiorina is kind of like Sin Maul. A minor non-playable character that you might know? Well, given that I know something about her and don't even play the game, you probably don't know more than me. A fool? That's fair. That's fair. Though I guess... Well, we don't actually have... The only quote-unquote martial arts character from Lili we have right now actually would be, hilariously enough, Baiju. I wonder... As we have Rathesley and Hazo for sort of punchy catalyst characters. So I'm wondering. And Yansan in that one is probably going to be similar. And Yansan's the little girl for not one from the Travail trailer. And a lot of people actually predicted the idea of sort of melee catalyst because she didn't have a weapon. And that was before the game even came out. So it was funny, that, funny for them to seemingly plan that out years in advance. Mm, well, at least the idea, even if they didn't know which characters would do it. I don't imagine that they really had Rathesley planned out. Year zero, year one. Short voyage, pretty reliable. First one I contact. And then, and then. Let us... Weirin's better butter. Huh. The big thing is, is that I'm not quite sure. Yeah, yeah, XP's. I do find it interesting that, as you may know, they had an Acheron, a Star Rail. And in Japanese, her voice actress is the same as the one for all the other Raidens. Sawashiro Miyoki. In English, at least, it's different. I'm not sure about Chinese, but I think she's there, right in equivalent. Oh, oh goodness! I'm. I've had people in chat talking about Himiko before, and I do find it interesting because we don't know for sure yet whether we'll get Himiko with not one. Because she may or may not be dead. And a lot of people have argued that D. Luke is actually the closest thing to a Himiko clone that we'll get in Genshin. Maybe actually D. Luke's mom, who's apparently a witch. We'll see. Should be as well about butter. Some bread, butter's ready. Mm -hmm. Then we have the Mecca. Butterific, without butter, bread isn't even worth eating. Hmm. This one is going to be the Mecca. I think it's going to be over in Elenas. Yeah, it is. Well, it... I'm not sure whether that applies to everything or just mainline Honkai. As in numbered ones, it raises the question of to what extent Star Rail is connected to original Honkai. Because the big connect connection is that Velt in Star Rail is explicitly Velt from other Honkai games, but other than that, it's very much up in the air. Also, the fact that, yeah, I think, I think at least one Himiko deserves to be happy. But the big thing is that, uh, is that was, oh, oh my goodness, I wasn't expecting that. What, what, okay, come on, come on, and then, punch, punch. Okay, alright. Let me see, let me see over here. Let's try this again. I'm being a little silly with this, but it's whatever. Not getting our buff, but whatever. Okay, so that's done, and we've got all of our quests and commissions. Dies or just doesn't exist. Yeah, because that's the big thing. We already have, we have Himiko, we have Baranya, we have Seal, we have... Maybe Raiden Mei, or her equivalent in Star Real already, so... The big thing is... 
when are they gonna give us the Kiana equivalent? When is Mahoyo's favorite girl coming back? Because in Genshin, Asmodee, the unknown god, well, Asmodee is the name from Files, but the unknown god is very plainly Kiana, so it's gonna be, you know, two or three years minimum before she becomes playable, if she becomes playable. Yeah, yeah, I was, I was actually about to say that Losha, which is the Chinese reading a name for, or sort of transliteration of Rakshasa, which is a sort of demon, demonic creature from Hindu lore, is a name that was bestowed upon a character who is clearly auto. It, they do have Ishida Akira voicing him, so I think it's pretty plain that it is auto, and that's what people have said. It's he is supposed to be a traveler from other worlds, from what I've heard. The big thing is that the closest equivalent to Otto that we have in Genshin is Ayato, because that's also an Ishida Akira character. Though, to be fair, I don't imagine Ayato is evil in the same way that Otto is. Though, to be fair, I'm pretty sure Woshua is at least somewhat reformed, for lack of a better term. Okay, so there are a few TCG things to do. There are the weekly matches, and then there's the heated battle mode. Let's see. Hmm. I will say that, again, it largely is just a time thing. Honkai does look cool. All of them do. But there's only so much time in a, game, time in a day. And I'm also working through, among other things, Dark Souls right now, so it's it's complicated. Let's put that down, and we can get an overload off, which is nice. Get like a gun. What are you gonna do? That's can't get a reaction on me without a non-pyro element. So hmm. how do I want to do this? Mm -mm. Oh, did I? I messed that up. That was stupid. Consume the wrong elemental dice, cause oh, actually, I'll be fine. It's time of night. Yeah, that. Well, I hope you have fun with that. That sounds like a lot of work. But believe me, I don't plan on stopping the Souls game runs, especially because I know I mentioned to you that I picked up those dual maces in Cathedral of the Deep, near the end of Sunday's play session. And among other things, I found out, I watched a cool video showing off that you can actually get a one-hit kill with that weapon. That, if you do your combo correctly, the combo is left shoulder button, so the normal sort of coordinated attack. Well, I already have it, I just need to get the stats to use it, and then maybe level up the weapon a little and then start using its L1, as in left shoulder, which is the normal attack, then left trigger slash L2, which is the weapon arm, which is the big spin with a lot of range. And then while you're doing that, you can press right trigger R2 to do a big overhead slam. And if you play your cards correctly, you can get an instant kill. It's kind of ridiculous. So let's actually put down you play some food. It would be! Among other things, it would make it really easy to deal with other invading players, ideally. We'll see what happens. I Oh, that's gonna go to waste, but it's whatever. Liban will take that. We'll get a few more dice. So it's just Xing Chao and... Oh, then we'll even get a reaction off using Oz early next round. That'll be nice. But the big thing is, is that I've got... Are you a rain person or not? I consider myself to be a rain person. I like the noise. The only downside with rain is sometimes if it's thundering, the internet goes down. <laughs> I... Okay, question, question, question. If... If you had a magic element, what element do you think you would have? 
Well, you know, I, I've said it before. The, the streamer reflects their audience. The audience reflects the streamer. Yeah. Oh, wow. If... I'm sorry to hear that. But... As I was saying... Okay, and actually we can get a little bit extra. So let's put this down and... Get another down and... Oh, you'll heal off that. Oh, because of the pile. But, but... We can use... Oh, that might be even better if it means we can... Yeah, we can nuke Aika. Yeah, that... Yeah, because as long as you're asleep, it wouldn't matter all that much, I imagine, but... Yeah, that would... Not be pleasant. So you can eat that and we can feed... Another food car to you. It's like a restaurant. Like a restaurant. But... As I was saying, I have about... A month and a half. Get done with the remaining Souls games before Elden Ring comes out. Yeah, but what I mean is that if you're already asleep by then, it's kind of no harm, no foul. Of course, it relies on you actually being asleep by then. So what I'm wondering is, where are they gonna? Well, that application's already down. So are they gonna use Rain Screen or Rain Cutter or? Oh, okay, Tom. Okay, right, right, right. M maybe one of these days I'll pay attention to something. So let's put that on official. Switch out to here. Now we got an Electrodon back. Fun. So if we. Let's do that and finish off with official burst. This is a fun team. Undeniably a fun team to use. Yeah, I'm too focused on not botching this match in TCG and dying embarrassingly in a way that will make you laugh but make me cry. Or at least scream profanities at video game NPCs. Okay. Well, but I was beaten by the best. Like I said before, on when- no, on Thursday, Thursday, I keep forgetting. Larry and I- oh, nice. Doing dailies or events or- are you excited for the rhythm game event? Oh, so you didn't have a way to find your way back. Was it too dark? That sucks. Let's do a couple more. Didn't like the rain. Yeah, fair, fair. Oh, Project Seika. I... I have some friends who are pro I know I have some Project Seika players, but... I'm not good enough at rhythm games to play Project Seika. The person I'm... Thinking about is actually a big Ensemble Stars player, too. So they're just insanely cracked at rhythm games. They don't really do it anymore, but they used to send me videos of just getting full combos on crazy maps. Various games, most, mostly Ensemble Stars. But I was impressed by the limits of human ability. That's what I'll say. Hmm. So what artifact is that? Okay, okay. Take your time. Good luck moth in the forest. <laughs> you have to mop all the floors in Hyrule. So, let me get this down. And this Hydro Mimic is actually... It's gonna hit that slime and do more, do no damage, which is kind of sad, I'll say. But whatever. Got, got the squirrel over there. Nice arrow, and that'll be the end of that round for us. I, I've said it before. I'll say it again. I would really like it if there was some other. Another team that someone had come up with that was newer that I could just use prefab without having to think too hard. Because this is, this is fun, but it's the same old, same old. Okay, Frozen, that's not horrible, so we'll switch over to you now. And I guess we could refresh eyes. It does mean that we're going to miss a reaction, but we'll be alright. Okay. After this match, I'll check out, check out the builds. 
And, okay. Mm -hmm. Big damage. Oh. Actually, good put. Junior's all down. Oh, that was kind of a waste. And then this shirt sure, just... Uh, Everything's up, check out a few more things, so that'll be the end of that round for us. But, so in addition to this team, which is a very summons-based team, there's also a Tinari-based team, Tinari, Amiko, and the Dendro Chicken, which I, I've gotten some use out of, but it's not bad per se, but... Thing is, let's put down. Do I want to put in Hydro Mimic or? Big thing is, if I use that, I won't be dealing damage there. We'll see. So I can move over, use another Hydro Mimic, hopefully. And the switch will come and I can use. Oh, uh, so put down Fischl and do a little bit of spread damage there. Okay. Use that, you'll stay on that. Do a little more damage. This should hopefully be... Zero. Oh, but I... Right, I gotta switch one of those out. Let's use that real quick. Through Electro, and then I think... This should finish up the match after that. Hopefully. Alright. So, the summons should be able to take him down. The interesting thing to me is... Something interesting I saw is Navi official Bennett and Ningguang. That... That's decent. But... If you have Chiori, even though the... Even though the Geo Construct stuff wouldn't work, she'd still be better. The big thing is that Ningguang can be decent for burst damage. And kind of as a sub DPS, but for Navia, you want as many crystallized shards being generated as possible. So a lot of the time, you're actually better off. Your best option would be something like, well, Zhongli can work, but it's usually Albedo and or Chiyori. But Bedit and Fischl is good, and that's no problem at all because, as I'm sure you've tested out, the Pyro Infusion isn't going to override Navia's conversion. And C6 Bennett is... There are basically no cases left of teams where C6 Bennett is a downgrade. And he wouldn't be better off running that character on a different team. I guess the one argument is that with Eula, Mika needs C6 to be better than even a C0 Bennett. Well, definitely C1 Bennett for her. I would say so. Even though, I'd say Albedo is the best, unless you have Shiori C1, so that her whole kit will work, even though Navia doesn't have a construct. Well... The big thing is, you want Navia to have her Geo Infusion up. It's kind of a quick swap team. At the very least, she doesn't have crazy long field time, but the big thing is that Navia's Geo Infusion, if you have someone... It'll help you generate more crystal shards, and to be fair, Fischl helps. Fischl will still put out decent amounts of Electro, but... Albedo can help even more, Chiori. That said, I think... Chiori might... Depending... Reduce Fischl's damage a bit, but it should maybe... Still increase the number of crystal shards you get, because... If Chiori is the one triggering Crystallizes, that isn't going to be triggering Fischl's A4 passive, because Chiori is not on field. And Fischl's A4 passive would be helping keep that Electro Aura up. But that's it, Chiori's damage should still be very good for that team. Let me see. Right, right. Don't, don't worry, I saw, I was just saying that it would be a reason to try to get Albedo in the future. So let's check that other, other one real quick. Then and then and then. Do I like Deluxe's dad? No Fontaine. Oh, and we got got the Mono Geo. I like that. A lot of Inazuma stuff. Okay. Oh, oh, but. 
those character details are hidden. But, if this is supposed to be a team, it's an interesting idea for a team combo, say. It seems like they might be trying Hyper... Might be trying Hyper Bloom. But the question is, is... Unless their Tartaglia is... Very high constellation, which it might be. I can't tell one way or the other. They... That Tartaglia is not going to be doing any kind of off-field Hydro application. So it... I mean, you can make anything work with good enough weapons and con levels and stats, but... It... And I actually do run Al Hytham in a Hyper Boom team a lot of the time. I run him with Shinobu, Yelan, and Nahida. And that team works really well. You have just the right amount of Hydra application and Dendra application that you can both have some Hyper Boom seeds to generate and have the Quicken Aura for both Nahida and Al Hytham to take advantage of, and to a lesser extent, I suppose. Fischl I mean. Shinobu. Oh, okay, well. I'll check that out after... After this match. I just missed it. Yeah, this is... I've Some people have asked me to do... Team reviews before. Or character surveys before. But this is the highest number I've done at once. This is interesting. So, okay, that's actually a really good starting setup. So, let's put... Hmm. Oh, but right, that's free. It's free this time. And that two last ones per round. Put that on you, and then... Play a Mimic. And what else can I put down this round after I get... Well, I couldn't get Libin in. I won't be able to get all... Six... Yeah. Five! Oh, wow. So cousins, brothers, sisters, aunts, uncles, parents, nieces, nephews, I don't know. Let's just play that down and put that there. Hmm. Oh, wow. So who, who are the favorite characters of everyone in your family? Do you ever do co-op? Hmm. Hmm. You attack first. Try to get more hydromedics on the field. Well, that that did not go as planned. Hmm. Actually, what might be better could be trying to get another die for feeding Rodan. Hmm. That. Hmm. Yeah, it. It would be interesting. The big thing is, is, is only the second round, so we'd only get one because they nerfed this one. Hmm. So we gotta trash every single one of these cards in order to put down a couple of mimics. Zhongli and... Zhongli and women. Zhongli and Ayaka. Interesting, interesting, Ayaka. Zhao. Animal boys are popular. To be fair, I don't think that's news. But, as I was saying, actually, maybe I should switch because Wabin couldn't take that second Pyrodine. But the big thing is, it's been years and I still don't have Ayaka. It's still kind of crazy to me. It's just. Never has there been a banner at the right time. And I got... The reason I had Shenha, I think you might have seen that I had. Shenha on that Lethesley team. I got Shenha. In the hopes of eventually making a premium Ika Freeze team. And it just... Wasn't something I could really do. Well, it... Inventing Nation. I didn't know that was a thing. There are worse places to be from. Yeah, yeah. And then, okay, that didn't kill, but we're in danger. Should use. Hmm. It's one of these to 
Use a dendro die to turn that too. One of those down again. Oh, I. That would be a waste. Using that burst would be a waste right now. Okay, so. We're gonna kill and actually. Okay, but they're only using a standard attack, so we'll be fine. Oh boy. How do we want to do this? Hmm. Have to nuke someone down. Then. Over there, and that takes one out with the spread damage. That, mmm, still using the burst will help. Oh, nice. So, what do you think a Mondstadt expansion would be like? Because I... People have been talking about it forever, and very clearly, Dorman Port exists, even though we haven't seen it yet. I guess the big question, question is where it would be, what side of Mondstadt it would be on. Because there was some... In the cooking event, a couple patches ago, at the end of a Lantern Rite, there was... discussion between Farzan, Layla, and... Dory, and one of the topics was... going on a boat around to that, and they seemed to imply that Dormanport Port might have been on the east coast of Mondstadt somewhere. Obviously somewhere up north. I think... It could be interesting to make the archipelago a permanent area, but I wonder... It would be interesting to see what kind of map placement they would give it, if they had to, con if they had to confirm its placement somewhere. Take some risks, let's play. Okay. Hmm. Just see real quick. Over here and over here, and Mondstadt and Mondstadt, and none of those are anything we particularly want right now. Star Suns could be good to keep. Okay, so unless there are things to react with, put in Rodea first to hopefully get the order right to ideally get both a reaction set up for a reaction the following rounds. Okay, okay. It is interesting that. And I think they might kind of be breaking the precedent, though, to be fair, it does help somewhat that Therina isn't really, quote-unquote, the Archon anymore. That the second Trounce domain for Fontaine was in the Orlokino story quest rather than a Therina Part 2, and instead we get, we're getting a Sino Part 2, which, to be fair, I'll probably be doing next patch so that I can do it during the stream event, but I... I feel like Venti definitely deserves a part two, I hope. Nice, nice. I mean, it's... I think they might have changed it a little, but it is still placeholder terrain, right? It's remained relatively consistent. I think that maybe peering to the northwest or the west of that might show a bit more. We'll see. But, as I was saying, If they gave us a Venti Part 2, I'm wondering whether that would mean a third Monset Weekly boss, or, or what. I'm glad to hear that you're done mopping the floors. Yeah. Cinderella, mop all the floors in the house, and then you can go to the ball. <laughs> I didn't say that. Okay, so how do we want to... Yeah. There, there are just so many, so many plot threads that were unresolved. It was my evil stepsister impression. It was my evil stepsister impression. Okay. But, as I was saying, you can do it if you like. I think it might be a little too short. But, as I was saying, in addition to Albedo, Albedo may be going wild and having to be calmed down because there's no way he stays. Well, I, I don't know. Maybe I could. It's I have a lot of I have a lot of clips to catch up on, so I gotta. We'll see what happens. Okay, so who can I nuke? Who can I nuke? Oh. Don't worry. Has any of us ever actually meant anything seriously in our lives? Well, basically, at the end of Albedo's story quest. 
He states that he's worried about maybe destroying Monster. And, okay, interesting. So for a while, people have been thinking about the possibility of Albedo going wild. Which, I think might be a little bit overblown. I think it'll definitely be reckoned with. But I highly doubt that he'll ever actually, you know, destroy Mondstadt, because among other things, it would... I think it would be totally inconsistent. I don't think it would make sense for his character for him to just do that. Zorn versus... I mean, maybe. But that said, I just... I don't actually expect it to happen. I don't think it makes sense in terms of the way that they want to do the story. Because Albedo's whole thing is about, well, okay, you know, becoming more human through engagement with the human world, and if it was just sort of, oh, it was all for nothing, he's just evil now, haha, ha, funny. I think not only would it be nonsense, it would feel pointless and cheap. I don't think it would make the story better. But that might just be me. But things like Kai's connection to Connery, which was actually addressed in his hangout quest, which to be fair I still need to do. Well, it's kind of the opposite in the sense that Oh, I was in another thing that wouldn't make sense. Well, to be fair, I don't think if we get a good detore, it would have to be a segment. Or something like that. I don't think they're that, that stupid. We'll see. Let's keep on, and this should be the end of this round. That said, I think I could just... If I shoot... I'm gonna go for a vaporizer. Okay. Hmm. Let me go for one final shot. That should... Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Gonna kill me or what? Probably gonna kill me. But we can tap you down a little first, at least. So we'll end around there, and... Yeah. I don't need anything else after this, so... Yeah, I could see that being very possible, especially since... Each of them is explicitly supposed to represent a different stage of his life. Yeah, it... Oh, so you were checking to see if it was the archipelago? Okay. Yeah, I... I guess the question is just... Where Northern Mondstadt would end and Southern Sizenaya might begin. I... I don't think you turn evil. I think it depends on your definition of evil. Because there can be opposition between Mondstadt and Conria without either one being evil, per se. I've talked about the idea of there maybe being some kind of sort of Diluc versus Kaya Trounce domain, where you have to take them both down or break up their fight, which could be cool, but... Well, I think it raises the question of what's your definition of evil here? Because if you think... That makes sense. I have heard a lot of people think, saying that if there would be any place for the archipelago to really be, it would be sort of equidistant between Mondstadt and Liwei and Inazuma, given that there are specialties from all three places there. There are Star Comics, Dandelions, and that was actually where the Siganoderma, uh, the Siganoderma that Yai and Kazo were, were originally. I don't have a cat avatar. But if someone thinks that Conria is a an unambiguously evil area, they're not paying attention. They simply are not paying attention. You know, they're morally complex they're morally complex, like every other faction and area of the game. There were stupid people, evil peop evil people, smart people, noble people in Conria. With Samari gave us explicit confirmation that Conria was actually trying to stop 
the Flood of Abyss creatures. It, I don't think you can really... People like to oversimplify a lot of things. That's what I'll say. Yeah. And they got a burning team. I guess the question is, I could try to do some kind of electrocharge team here. Well, except for Raiden, because they wooified her, passed off all of her offenses onto the Shogun bot and other people in the Tri Commission, and didn't even make her apologize to Scarlet. Yep, exactly, exactly. Well, I don't like what they did with her, but I think. I couldn't say she's outright horrible. That's what I'll say. Okay, but the worst Archon, the worst Archon is Ajiria. Because all Ajiria ever did was basically just die. Well, because she just shut herself off from the world. To be fair, it is important to note that part of the reason she shut herself away from the world was literally trauma. But even still, we want that could be good to have. Let's see. That over there, and what does Taramaru do? Taramaru enraged. Taramaru savings. That could be nice. Egeria? No, Egeria. I, I think that's not something that's ever said anywhere, at least anything I saw. Egeria was the old Hydro Archon. Havria? No, Egeria was Furina's predecessor, and she's the one who turned the ocean heads into humans, which is what it is. Wait, what? They just quit? That was incredibly anticlimactic. Did they, did they just think... I think that's right. I think that's right. That was a really anticlimactic way for that to end. I, I thought I had something set up there. I was, I was excited. That was going to be an electro charge team. We'll see what happens. The Arlequino avatar. Let me see. So what can I try to run? I think, honestly, okay, this... Emperor and Fire of, uh, Fire and Iron is apparently really, really busted. I'll go with them. Yeah. Fontaine's fun. Don't rush, but you should look forward to it. Hell Spiral with the Arlequino avatar. I feel like they're gonna crush me. Oh, good lord. No, no, Havria, Havria is Zhong Li's for story quest. So I don't think that was the crystallize. Actually, that could be good if it... Whatever gives us more tenacity stuff. Because the big thing is that... A lot of shields from this. Shield of safe transport. So this is going to be... Actually, yeah, okay. There we go. Egeria? Well. Oh, right, well. It is what it is. If you mind Fontaine spoilers, I can quiet down on that. But the big thing is that Egeria sucks. She's a total doomer. Total doomer. She made... A lot of people in... Real, realize what? What's unfair? The card set up, or...? Well, here's the thing, is that... All Ajiria ever really did, lore-wise, was just... Say how the prophecy can never be averted, and basically say, give up, give up. Switching characters once per round. That's not bad. Countless sights to see. 
Iron, iron, two stacks of armored cra carapace. Power application. This pure solar piercing. Inspiration discard and uh. Okay, so these skills are going to be nice to have. It. Oh, oh, oh. Let me look at some of this. Buster Blaze, Carapace, two Armored Crab Carapace stacks. Then any action, cancel against two. Five initial. Okay. Side has any. This is decent. Don't even. No, no, it's it's just the same as the whole I'm baby thing, which I deeply despise, even to the extent that it's just a joke. Yeah, I... This may surprise you, but the idea of people trying to avoid taking responsibility for their actions isn't exactly my favorite thing in the world. Okay. Lore-wise... Honestly, probably either Ventu or Zhongli. Because uh, we know very little about Venti. I mean, but the thing with Zhongli is that Zhongli has... Oh, but the piercing damage on that is... Zhongli might be a sun god. There are a number of people who say he might be a shade. Because among other things, there's a statement of... Stone facets, you have to switch to Anza. Aww. Oh, this card on them. One elemental die for each elemental type. Oh, that's good. That's quite good. Well, it... <sighs> What's very interesting is that... There's... A bit of vagueness about whether and how... Archons get their power. Because Venti says it's about the degree to which Archons rule over their nation. He says that during the Mondstadt Archon quest, and he says that's why he's weak. But then he directly, con then Nahida directly contradicts that by saying that it's about. I'm gonna grab Carapace for application. And that <sighs> Nahida says that it's about level of faith. And. Well, that's what I mean, is that Venti probably was lying, because Venti lies a lot. But, then we have, we should get three, three, okay, there we go. Yeah, well, a lot of it is, it's a question about how much of it might be a sort of boost from, for lack of a better term, fame. And how much would be... Let's put that on you. Yeah, how much of it could be a boost from fame? And how much might be a might just be innate abilities? Because if Zhongli is something like a shade or a sun god, because I was about to say that the whole deal is that some of the lore around him in the original the original language says that he was quote unquote demote, demoted to Tavat. Which is interesting. I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have done that. I messed that up. That might be a problem. So that he was quote unquote demoted to Tavat, which is very, very different from sort of. The big thing is that there there are implications that he had some sort of higher position, and that what he does, quote unquote, now is a bit of a downgrade in some way. Stone fast, that's elemental crystallization. Absorb. With me, elemental absorption. Hit me with. Yeah, something. Hit me with something. Oh, alright, I messed some of that up. It's actually one less elemental die using your skill next time. So, what do I wanna. Three. Uh huh, alright. Let's put this down. What kind of skills do we want to use? Let's actually play that and put that on you. Thank you. We can try to get another shield or something. Actually fought their predecessor? Well, here's the thing. 
Deck Arabian is not uh, was not actually an Archon. Was never actually an Archon. It's a bit of a mistranslation. And so, oh, but let's see how this works. Well, we don't know yet. And that's the thing. And we got a card from that. Well, it's it's generally believed that there's shade. That there's life, death, time, and space slash void. And that the primordial one is Logos. Because it matches the artifact names. Isra Isroth is canon. Isroth is 100% canon. Big thing about Isroth is... Okay. Let's just switch. Can I not... Okay, they were just waiting to do something. You read Isroth for the first time, and you see them for the first time in Enconomia. The deal with Isroth is that you only ever see her name spelled backwards. Tathata. Oh, and that's on every. Oh wow. Okay. Is that they have her name spelled backwards, which a lot of people say is so that she couldn't get erased from the Urban Soul. It's hard to know for sure. Oh, but I used the wrong... I used the wrong one. Whatever. Whatever. I guess we could... Whatever. Get more shield points on there, and... Oh, interesting. Oh, but I... Wait. Oh, whatever. I could do something. Figure something out. It, it's possible. The big thing is that there's a quest in Enconomia where you... Generate two. I shouldn't do that yet. I messed up. Oh, but I missed my chance to use an attack with you. Well, all right. Hmm. How do I want to do some of this? Yeah, but you get a fruit in Enconomia, and then you... Let's hmm. use... Try to use the shield. You get a fruit in Enconomia, the fret not fruit. And you can take it to the souvenir shops in Mondstadt, Liwe, or Inazuma. And out of the three, the only one that actually recognizes what it is, is the one in Mondstadt. They say it's referenced by bards. So the implication to a lot of people is that Mondstadt has some sort of connection to Enconomia, and given that Isroth is the shade of time, and that Enconomia is... And Anamiya's god was Istaroth, who was, I believe, pretty explicitly sh stated to be the Shade of Time. Well, beyond that, it has the Thousand Winds Temple, where it's stated in the Sacrificial Sword Lore that the Masters of Time and Wind were worshipped. Oh, well, alright. thing is, we got a lot of shields up right now, so... Let's get rid of her Kagras Cardamon. And probably. Let's see what happens. And we got that down. And, hmm. The shield is stacking up. Emperor Fire and Iron is actually utterly cracked if you can use it correctly. Big thing is, if you take me out, I'm going to use this opportunity to take down Nahida, and then they won't have a way to deal piercing damage to me. Actually, let me see. Oh, but. Metaline Detonation. Piercing damage all standby characters. Let's see how this works. Let's actually equip you with that. Thank you. Simpson Witch of Flames. Oh, but I pff, I shouldn't have done that. Maybe maybe, maybe. I we'll see what happens. Two support cards. Let's elemental die and discard it. We'll be playing it more talent cards, so I'll just do that. Thank you. I will. Mm -mm. We got Leeway Harbor Wharf and Jet. Let's put down Leeway Harbor Wharf and then use that. Seven damage plus one and a few more stacks. Cool. That's your blaze. Alright, cool. So what are you gonna do to me? What are you gonna do to me now? Molten Mail. Two stacks of Umber Crab Carapace, but higher application might actually be Good, depending on what they apply to me. We'll see. Okay. 
I will simply keep going. And Azza might be able to wipe some dudes out after this, depending on how I do things. Let's see. Either way, Crab is brutal now, so. Let's see how this works. A lot of. How do I detonation? Should be. Be two armored crab carapace stacks. That could be kind of an insta, depending on how I make this work. We'll see. I oh that that sucked. That really really sucked. Okay. Huh. I just got a lot of cards I can use to switch things around, but yeah, I'm gonna start just trashing these to get more stuff out. So we got our. Detonation there. And how much damage will you deal? Storm Cluster, Panoply, 5 initial. Every 2 stacks. We should be able to deal pretty ridiculous damage from this, hopefully. So who's gonna die? Who are you gonna sack? What are you gonna do? Got my stuff ready. I could kill pretty much any one of you. Is that and huh. what can I trash right now? I hmm, three times that could have been good, but no, no, no. This match is getting intense, and quite intense. Then we can prepare that, and hopefully deal a good amount of damage. Bell and detonation one turn. And this, someone is going to just get nuked. Someone is going to get absolutely nuked. But the big thing about Istaroth is that it's very, very possible that Venti might be basically baby Istaroth. Defying up. ring, let's do, and that will. Well, you're dead. <laughs> Goodbye. 11 damage! 11 damage straight. Wow. Okay. Now this... This is just kind of pitiful. Emperor of Fire and Iron is... If you have a team that works for it, it's truly ridiculous. That... Mm -hmm. Zero damage, but a lot of that down. Big thing is we can... Destroy you. Next round. Mr. Blaze... Two carapace, at least seven, so we'll see what happens next round. Uh, Alright! But the big thing about Istaroth is... Istaroth, given what happens with Irminsul with Scaramouche, it's very, very possible that Istaroth may be... Are you gonna attack me, or can you do anything? Can you use your burst, or what? I think you're trying to... Yeah, you're trying to use your burst. Okay, cool. Oh, oh that was surprisingly strong. Hmm. Let me... I should be able to quench this. I should be able to quench this. I just gotta... Get one attack off and then finish off with... Something on... Azda. But... It stated that Venti, when he came into being, was... A sort of fragment or a single piece of the Thousand Winds, which, given that Isroth is known as the Thousand Winds of Time, there are a lot of people who suspect that that might have been what he was referencing originally, and that either he forgot about Isroth or. Can I still move? It's still not my turn. Oh, okay. Either he totally forgot about Isroth. Because Isroth might have gotten erased from Irmin Soul. And the reason people suspect that is because that the only time we ever see her name, it's backwards. It's Hitorasi or something like that. Okay, and this is this is coming down to the absolute absolute wire. Oh my goodness. Finish this off with decimating rockfall, and there we go. This was one heck of a match, obviously. But we won with 1 HP on Azza. It's kind of crazy. But, as I was saying, either Venti was able to detect Isroth even after her erasure, if she was erased, 
And in that case, maybe Isarov was Isarov was the original Animo Archon. But either way, Decarabian was not the original Pyro Archon. Because that idea stems from a mistranslation. It's not accurate. Question is, is does this count as a shield status? Want to marry Pearl in the gate one, but it's not a shield status. Who's that? I want to see if. Does anyone else have shield eroded artifacts? Okay, Yao Yao does. So that could be nice to use. And then maybe Albedo. Let's see. Put Yao Yao down. Maybe try to get burning going. But. The possibility that comes to be with the possibility of Is Isroth being erased from Irminsul is the possibility that Conria actually had an Archon and that it was Isroth. Because Isroth is explicitly stated in Enconomy as Lord to have been an Archon who was sort of more sympathetic to humanity. And given that Conria was sort of the pride of humanity, it could have been possible this sort of still have a god, just one that was very, very close to humans, and sort of an anti celestial partisan, possibly. Because it does seem like Isroth, you know, given that she helped out Enconomy after it fell into the depths, may have been... Let's see. Sort of a traitor to Celestia. It's a possibility. So, let me... It's one of those, maybe... That's how you do this. Is that the active character? Oh, there we go. So I could actually maybe use that for, to clear an element off me? I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. Actually, but having Yaya could be good. We might want to put down Gwegui. Possibly. That's what we want. And we got our Imperial Panoply up. Mm -hmm. Put this down on you. Mm -hmm. And we could actually... I might not want to do that because we don't have shield status. What status is removed other than armored? Mm, well, that's the thing. That's the thing, though. I would probably want to use this and then use Albedo to... Hopefully get a crystalline shield up. Mr. Blaze, we got a little bit more there. Who are you gonna switch to with anybody? The more we can stack this up, the better. And we'll just switch over, like use one of those, get some of that going. Mm. Welcome back, welcome back to the world of the living. But the big thing is that there are some people who have said, and I'm not sure how accurate it is that the name Conria translates roughly to Betrayer of Winds in Arabic, which in that case would be a decently strong argument for Isteroth maybe having, having been the Archon if she was sort of wind-related. But either way, it's weird, it's complicated. We'll get our confirmation one way or another. So all those are Bad. Uh, we might have to keep dealing with Albedo, maybe. Try using the Solar Isotoma. Hmm. Are you going to use the Burst or what? I think you are. Okay, whatever. Hmm. Thanks, thanks. That's fair, but it's. That's something slightly different. I'd say. Let's do that, and if you kill me now, that'll be a free switch. Hmm. wonder how well this one will work. That's the thing. And it's just, I don't have status on me that I might like. Well, I hmm, switch and then use as a normal attack. I hmm. Let me think about this one. Yeah, not yet, not yet. Well, you know, I don't blame you. I don't blame you. You were you were just trying. You were trying to trying to come up with something interesting. 
So I, mm, but the switch. Uh, okay. All right. Get that down. I think we got that ready, which is nice. Let me. Okay. Could actually use that for a free switch. I think. Just not using stuff as much as I would like. So what are you doing next? Oh, now I can put. Uh huh. Now I can put my artifacts on somebody and hopefully try to get a bit more shield status. We'll see. So, who do I want to use? I don't think I. I could use Albedo for his burst. Uh, go ahead with your gossip. Go ahead. Tell me about the struggles and struggles of your life. So I'll go over there. Hit equip that for free and. I made that wanderer suffer! He thought he was gonna be able to spam swirls on me. That isn't happening. That isn't happening for you. Sorry. Sorry, buddy. Let's put that down. Play. This artifact on you, maybe? Well, actually... Hmm. I don't want to do this. I think, actually... Play that. Play this on you. And then... Let that one sit. Okay. So here we here we are, I guess. But wait, actually, if we're gonna use Hanaga, Song of the Wind plus two next opposing character on standby, so we should we should switch back, switch back here, glue that. Yeah, that. So in other words, he's just an inveterate cheater. He just has no values whatsoever. I wish I was more surprised. Yeah, it. Some people, man. Some people. Some people were just crazy. Okay, thank you, thank you. Yeah, go ahead. Don't hit me. Don't hit me. Oh, but actually... Oh, but... What? Oh, and it just... It ruined my parametric transformer. That... You imbecile! You imbecile! How'd you get another one off? Whatever. Okay. Hate that guy. Hate that. Hate that. Yeah, I mean, I, I think, I, I, I fear for your definition of normal. So are we going to use her, he's definitely going to use a burst, right? Probably. And this, hmm. that would kill Yao Yao. Let's do this then. Go for the piercing damage. Okay. Got that up. Mm -mm. Yeah, it... Really? That's honestly just insane. So, we have that done. We're gonna use another one, and I think... What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Who's up next? The big thing is, I think... We could get that down. We might be able to kill Wander with this ring. Yeah, okay. So if we switch... We try to get the burst down and snipe somebody. Yeah. So in other words, because your friend wasn't there to protect you. That's insane. So that oh buttercrab with a crown hypostasis, but only four. Okay, well You know if it works, it works. Let me oh, Let me think. Actually I could just Oh, but it would revive, though, that... Hmm. Yeah, I should just... I could eliminate you, though. I could. But, oh, I... Hmm. It's the tough thing. No, I should. I should eliminate that one. I don't think this is going to be a victory, though, which is sad, but still. Actually, what if I... What if I did this? actually just barely switch out and with one of them. Mm, okay. Big thing is I should have put a different artifact on the crab. I should have given it Ancient Helm for the beginning, but this is this is gonna suck. Okay. And actually I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have done that switch. Yeah, they went for more attacks than I expected. And that 
was an unpleasant surprise for me. And yep, see. That was precisely what I didn't want. It's actually our application. There we go. We could maybe get a bit more depending on how many could how many attacks you could use. That's a question. That's a question. Then I think we can maybe try to spam some of these. Possibly. Depends on how long we live. Okay. Use that. Our damage and just try to stomp him down. It depends on how much they can damage me. Hmm, I... Alright. Hmm. He's gonna die now. Oh, that... Well, the big thing is that the people in your class are nasty, weird pervs. And sadly, you're being made to deal with that. That is the tragedy of this life. So how do we want to... Mm, are you going to kill me with... Yeah, we can't live this, can we? I don't think we can live this. That sucks. Okay. So... Hmm. I... And of course he's still wind favored. This is... If I had put General's Ancient Helm on the crab, this would have been victor- What?! What?! What? What is... That's just nonsense. How do people even just do that? Okay, well, the big thing is we made a silly mistake. I... This is the end of the match. That's sad. If I put General's Ancient Helm on the grab, it would have gotten more shielding. Mm. It was pretty close. But just... I think they definitely... They definitely... Popped that... Because if you end your round early and your parametric transformer pops, you don't get another action. It's just... That's just at the end. No, no, go... Okay, okay, well, the big thing is that he was either a reprehensible individual or just going for shock value, and neither of those speak particularly well about him and his moral character. So the big thing is, is that there's some weird... Wait, what? Either way, the big thing is, is that there's some guy with absolutely zero tact in your class who makes that your problem and tries to cheat on his girlfriend. And which is pretty awful. <laughs> That's all I can really say. But I guess if you would prefer to talk about something more pleasant, drunk with asked him something and he said Either way, I think actually what I could do if I'm gonna try to catch up on the Toma stuff, because I don't want to poke around Petricor until I have the Petricor quest done, which would be on Sunday. So I need a daily reset for it to pop. Let me just... Okay, and the Baiju team is not in here right now. Okay. And that was the extent of it. And that's not pleasant, but I guess that's not as bad as I expected. Incredibly small comfort, though. So here we go. I think it's time for us to get started with Toma's Hangout event. Ballin'. I will do this. Do it on Sunday. Tour tickets, Spirit of Rock and Roll, Hop Up Passion. Yeah, it's just... Honestly, as dumb as it sounds, I was expecting more creativity. You said he was being inappropriate and grass, and I was just sort of, okay, let's see where this one goes. And it's just... It wasn't even a joke. It was just him announcing his perverse intentions. But yeah, Tom Toma's gonna be more interesting. Have you done this one already? Daily chores. Let's start this one. I think this might take us about an hour and then 30 or so minutes of poking around in between. Samaro and... Fontaine, behind his back, place you and Toma agreed upon. I didn't know we agreed on anything. Well, there you go. It's your chance to see it. So he is in this area... Kazumasa and Furusawa. I haven't seen him in a while. Zutotoma. Got working on these days. 
Imagine if we could get friendship hearts to Greece from these guys. Okay, where did I Okay, the chocolate is down here. In case you didn't know, Mr. or Ms. or other title, it's Avi. I'm very, very big on incredibly dark chocolate. I have a few bars, well, I've worked through three of them, of 100% dark chocolate. Just pure cocoa, and... Frankly, I had some Ghirardelli's 97% ones that was a bit better. Well, I've had them for a few months now. I just work through them very slow because it's a rare treat that I only use when I need more energy. And most important, it's out for meals, cleaning up around the house as usual. That, the quantum of the samurai spirit, smoothing your way through, put your boy on the scrap heap, use it or lose it. Monset born and brown. Oh goodness, we're getting racism? Racism in the quest? I'd never have Modica's chocolate. Where is it even seasoned this guy? Mm, so I think this is a branch. Let's put a stop to this. Footsteps kind of behind you. So haven't slept too well. Is that a heart rate? Oh, this rain we've been having. Oh, so that, when you start it, it makes rain show up, right? What percentage of cocoa? Do you get something marked, or what brand, too? Just curious, not judging. Something happened, a little chat on a break, we're going, still lots to do. Do people grow a sense of urgency, too? So they just give him absolutely no respect. Go somewhere? About that when my vacation's over. So I'm a little late, something came up, you heard everything, didn't you? Sure did. No big deal. Criticize those who don't fit in. Same everywhere. Urade. The hidden side. Have a gossip. What's up? Some good for them. No harm to the clan. Would you agree? Them and you do you. Can't say I agree. Let's, let's agree. Exactly. Or live and let live. Harder than the rest. So much to deal with. Got out of the tea house. Been a long time coming. Much going on. Some more fierce will discuss the plan for the day. So I guess I'd like to hear your ideas. What's interesting about Toma's hangout quest is that it actually came out before he was even rollable. As he was rollable, I believe, on the second half of 2.3, the Hutel banner. First half was Tartaglia. But his hangout event came out at the start of the patch. So you were able to sort of try him out early, and there were a number of people who actually snuck him out of bounds to try to use him in the greater game world. Okay. Now, I just... I could have won that match. It wasn't even a matter of luck, it was just... I put... the, the wrong artifact on the wrong character, and it just... a few more shields would have helped. I could have just tanked and killed. It is what it is. I'll do something you'll enjoy, despite that. No clear plan on where to take you. Should you prefer indoor or outdoor? Stay indoor. So there's a sport right there. Sounds like a plan. You're like running all over the place. Head to Kobore Tea House. Sit in jackpot with a pot of tea. Just prepare. Join me when you're ready. Alright. That was actually really fast. I guess if part of this was sort of intended to let you try out Toma, it makes sense. Well, it's not just that, he also does really good damage on a Burgeon team. <laughs> the two the two philosophies of mankind. Horny and gameplay. Okay, so let's enter the tea house. Just want to see. Can I start it already, or check out, we got Toromaru here. Let's check the plan. Yeah, it's in a virgin team, a virgin team, it... Oh, so it splits off into four from there already. Wow. So what happens if I behind his back? So in that case, is it... If I try to step in, what happens? Virgin, which is... So Hydro plus Dendro is Bloom, and you usually want to be putting Hydro on Dendro, because it'll get more seeds that way, because Dendro consumes Hydro more than Hydro consumes Dendro. And then if you use Pyro on the Bloom Core, it'll explode in a pretty wide radius for a lot of damage. 50% more than a standard Bloom Core explosion. Hmm. 
Look for Toma at Komarei Tea House. There we go. Look how long this one will last. A while since we were last year. It has been. It really has been. Yeah, you know, when this came out, it would have been about a couple months, but for us, this has been years. Oh, I said I didn't. Where is it from? If it's Italian, I don't think they even sell it in America. Well, is in, is in where is in what place? Time to eat a little something, help yourself, and enjoy it. Are you a chef? I think I did all right. Some of this looks... These are shrimp balls from Leeway, right? Italy, okay, yeah. Sure, top up game self-sabotage. Bit of misunderstanding, added a few weird things, just a game. Enough cotton, your meals, normal dishes, housekeeper. Need culinary skills. Yeah, I, I might have seen it in a shop when I was in Italy, but I don't precisely remember, and I do did not have it. What's different about the texture? Again, won't have the chance every other day. Polish everything off the table, has your seal of approval. It was delicious. Okay, when you're out of veteran, you may take a quality of life. Okay, okay. It's falling apart, the seam will come undone. Tough time mending it, it's stitching time, saves nine stitches. So up later, handy with needle and thread. Skipping, no one is handy around the home as I am. Cleaning, cooking, Soji, cleaning, you've already cooking, and we know, mend it, ready strengths. Jobs like this, if this is your strength, what is it? Housekeeping will ask for more respect. Suggesting teach housekeeping. Sure, work, moment, sign up. Muzukashi, difficult. Suddenly, daylight. And Toma said, let there be light. He gets rules to change people's perception by showcasing housekeeping. As the matter is still troubling you. Okay. Oh, who from, who from Twisted Waterlands? It, his voice actor is Toma. Toma is... His voice actor is... Masakazu. No, Morita Masakazu. Masakazu Twisted. Is he in... Is he anyone in Twisted Wonderland? Is he in Twisted Wonderland? Let me see. It doesn't... I don't get anything immediately looking that up. I'll look that up. I have a friend who really liked... Riddle Roseheart. It doesn't say doesn't say oh he's oh interesting yeah that friend was also a big demon slayer person which might have been related this is voice no 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 yamashita seichiro seichiro was the voice actor for the guy you just mentioned not the same person yeah, yeah, they actually had a co had a cosplay that they liked to break out somewhere at a few times. Escaping wisdom, Yashiro, certainly in people's best interests, so I it's important. Yourself, best self to your work. Yeah, they ran into a... A Rengoku at one of the cons they were cosplaying as Riddle at, and it was a very funny encounter. Self compress self to your work, like maintenance. Give it a try, how I should promote it. Rather spread the word, keep it within Yashiro order. So are these the options? Need to prepare. Of students, supplies I need for the class. He has some shoes, sort of easily enough, and tools and greens for textiles and cookery. And all that, I think. We go over that. Rather melon, fowl, and flour. We have that. Essentials for your next steps. Everything goes smoothly. Umaku, Jubio. Class goes well. Don't worry about it. If, if you gotta go, you gotta go. Just please take care of yourself. Thank you for popping in. I'm sure that we'll still be able to continue some conversation even without your adequate help. Sanaragan. Sanaragan. Let's give him the housekeeping course materials. All the ingredients that it doesn't do a function screen. Streets launch our grand advertising campaign. Someone in town, a textile's business, so that would be all good on me. Is people interested, pay her a visit. Azua, Kamojoni. So then we go to her. I advertised the housekeeping course to the city merchants, and I did not mean to go over there. 
It's been so long since I was in the tea house that I'm getting all sorts of twisted around. That Natsuki Hanae riddle and Tanjiro. Oh. Okay, okay. That makes sense. I just... I know that Tartagli is Kimura Yohei, and he voices some other people like Charlemagne and Fate. Yeah, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. It'd be interesting to see. Ogura Mio, hello there. Yokosu, Ogurae. And happy to see Toma, what brings you here? Your fabric for loungewear. Just to take a look, pick your brain about something. We'd be interested in a housekeeping course, and what would that be? Starting a housekeeping class, prom is, looking for students, I hope you spread the word. Other things, handy sewing techniques, and go smoothly, I want a fabric from your store. If I want a hand, of course my pleasure. Thank you for supporting the business. Ogaraya, the Ogara shop. For your customers who have interests for the stuff, go and talk to them. Certainly want to sign up. And for a whole class, you go very well connected. You and ask her. I mean, somewhere before. Interested in housekeeping? Or tried knitting a sweater? Can't manage. Be able to get her interested using expertise. Thank you for your help. Try our luck with Yuko. Housekeeping course to the city housewives. Hmm. Okay. So in that case, let's go ahead and. Hmm. Oh, there, there. I think that's. If this is Yuri, I guess this. Yep, it is Yuko. Okay. The prompt says. Kiteyo, Uchino Dana, the husband. Did you do anything around the house? Day off, she was out straight to bed doing nothing. And that's at home as well. I'm struggling with housework, a backache. So they need training. So one of you is Yuko, and you have the pleasure. Shabugyo, yes, you will commission. That's it, Kat, no Jibyo. How's it going, Kat? So I'm interested in you. As a class, sweeping, mopping, laundry, cooking, years of experience as a housekeeper, it's free, classes, materials, use. What do you think? Suspiciously coincidental, a conspiracy. Classes are free for a limited time only. Chance falls there. On the soul side, free trial classes, first two classes you attend. Fall period comes, book more classes, compare the rest, and pay a little price. Sounds reasonable. Women only, or not at all. No one can afford to be without skills. Look after yourself, life before work. Well, it's been a long to teach him, so he can do work. Matashi Ma, and mine as well. Yeah, not Nagano. We have time to attend, more than Mary. Thank you, excuse us. Let's come along and increase numbers. So who is this going to end up being? Some conflict, or are they gonna get mad about it, or, or what? Yep. It's just. Oh, but right, I don't have any kind of fast movement on this team. But we'll see. Eventually, we should run into some kind of combat scenario. And let the Virgin run wild. Hello. Present old friend. Housekeeping class, hand around the home, or do I get through things I'm able to do myself? I'm teaching housekeeping, not as easy as my thing. Don't underestimate Toma. Do my best. Hmm. Super Kamisato. And Cosma. Cosma. That, like, Onisia, and he... Okay, one of the flame chasers. Interesting. A mantis species. Huh. Okay, okay. Interesting. For the test, very good. Come and see for myself. If you're to attend, to be lacking, we'll teach some things myself. To have you in attendance. Mm. Oh, so right now you're looking at all the Queen of Hearts guys, okay. First promotion to the and head back to the commission. And will we actually end up teaching the class, or is this the end here? Is it going to be encouraged? I have to teach a few things myself. So I wonder if Yure. Yuri and the other one are still there. Let's see. As if... Okay, they're gone. So if they had other dialogue, I missed it. But I don't imagine it was anything all that crucial. So let's go over here and... 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Try this out. Return to the Ashura Commission to make final oh, preparations. We're still holding close. No idea how many people to expect. If it goes well, tables and chairs and meet back at the Commission headquarters. Turn out what we like. Show lots of people will come. Let's be optimistic. We it pretty hard, and we were just feeling to a well a class full of students. We should have the class tomorrow. Following day, 8 o'clock to 12 midnight. Let's send this through. Okay. And then, in that case, let's try this out. Yashua Commission, take part in the housekeeping course. It's over to this way. Oh, Baya! And Ogre Amiyo is here too. And by a bill board for some teaching. Which may take a second in the video. For some attended one. The theory, if I may, that's really discipline is so important. Sayako. Jogyo hajimarimasu yo. So many people keen to learn. Hmm. Okay. Let's see. Of course no one's ever held a class like this in the past. Please, please take a seat so everyone's got mostly got one bed. Some people are sharing one of them. The skill set, set your life in order. This feels more prudent, a marital relationship, closely intertwined in a marriage. Ah, so he's trying to appeal the housewives want their husbands to yourself properly, burden shoulder to toll upon the relationship. What are you doing here? Huh? This. Oh, are these the husbands? Are they the husbands? What the? Uh, brought him study too. Both of them were commissioned wives. Be the teacher. So they're getting their comeuppance. Anatta. Thomas Sensei. Konnichiwa. I'm going to call him Thomas Sensei. Is clearly wearing wearing on him. Well, welcome, you don't expect to pay attention and work hard. Going not difficult, or just consistently top it over a long stretch of time. On a going basis, I would either love everything about it, or have a few tricks to make things easier, light work, a password. Hmm. Over there, focus, please. To engage me. As I'm nodding off. Let me stay behind to catch up. So kind of. Oh, okay, so that was just the ending there. Kind of engagement, what you like to see. View the invitation. That was one of the endings. So, what we should do then is go back and start the class, and I think have him try to only do it in Yashiro. I believe. Because the up, because there was a branching off of there, and I think it was when we yep. chose between the Yashiro Commission and yep. just. Sending out wider. We'll see. Either way, if I'm doing these in order and I want to level the characters, Leona and I'll hide them. Oh, that's interesting. That that is kind of funny, given that you know, sort of a North African character, and a sort of Middle Eastern kind of character. They're not the same, but there are. Just cross pollination. Classic feeble scholar. Nothing else lazy demeanor, effort averse. So, in other words, a very similar kind of character was voice. That's funny. So, I, in a certain sense, I suppose he was typecast. Let's see. Welcome. Been a while since you're last here. Time to eat something. Help yourself. I've seen this already. Who you chef? Self sabotage. Misunderstanding. Go through. meals. meals. Chance to cook, so I'll have to tell about the housekeeping classes, and thank you, you're welcome. All your way, okay. Who's threads? Kino Manto, your mantle. Three to one thread, hand around the home, cooking and mending, housekeeping. Housekeeping class. For the staff, good work, and good sign up, you don't seek a change, so troubling you. Well, it's best interest, I mean, it's important. I'm going to try and promote it by keeping it within the Ashura Commission. Not too much preparation, tables and chairs, more about how to promote it. Let's get around to the headquarters. So that is, yep, that was the branch we needed to take. 
Oh, but we need a little bit more HP, so let's... To here on all. Okay. Let's return over here. The big thing is, I wonder... Will we still heal if... So it can't return from me from all that way. Yep, so that just... Teleported away and the healing didn't work. Alright, alright. And then higher up is... Okay, here he is, here and all. About the housekeeping class. Housekeeping, you say? Tomo teaching? Definitely up for going. Going on over the next couple of days. Schedule's freed up. Definitely like to give it a poor try. Promenal, join whenever you like. Thank you, not really my place. Sending class photo time. The butler. How about a housekeeping? Not really. I guess maid would be. Hey, we'll visit. Hope this goes smoothly. Small scale changes, advertise the housekeeping course to photo tie. Okay, Toma and I guess. Toma san to Okaki Ujin. A visitor, rare combination, something happened. Not at all, thinking of starting a housekeeping class. Wonderful, oh, how do learn from you? Time has come. Oh, yeah, sure, commission, now just housekeepers and servants. Look, spring clean of the commission to showcase methods. Seems belief, convince them with words alone, action with our own eyes. Sounds like a good idea. We said it wasn't, we'd probably get a few hearts lost, and I prefer not to do with that. It's interesting how, at least, only, at least so far, there's been one hangout quest only no wells where you actually need to pick a quote unquote wrong option get a specific ending, so it's impossible to finish that part off with all five hearts full. Oh, if we have a better idea anyway, why not? Heal housekeeping for all in the commission to see. Let's get started. The cleanup attracts onlookers. Housekeeping tasks within the time limit. Oh, interesting. So let's cut that down. And okay, and that's one. Koharu. Not saying anything, so... Right, so we can use Tomada. Chop these up. Real capable guy. Real job. Weeds are gone. So he's a nice air. So what next? There's gotta be more around here, so... Housekeeping challenge, and where is... There's gotta be at least one more. Yuratsuka? Coming for work. Goodbye. Have to work as well, and I think she's a liaison with... There's some with someone. Yep. Oh, it was just one more, a few more bushes. Yep. Okay, and wait, what? So what's next? Yep. Are we gonna fail this? I think we failed. That is a shame. Well, I. Hmm. Yep. That was. That won't do. Let's try that again. Advertise it to photo tie. So what was? I'm confused. Chopped down a lot of bushes, but. Is there anything else, or...? Okay, and I guess for accommodation, something happened, that's getting class. Right, 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 do it ourselves, good idea, actually. Suggestion, build housekeeping, let's get started. The cleanup attracts onlookers. Let's shop this down, and there... So is there something on the roof, or...? What can I even... Now the weeds are gone. So are there things on the edges, or what? It's just... We gotta look for arrows, but there are only so many. I I guess I could try to drop down. Oh, is this one just occluded? Or are more showing up? Or? While we're here, though, we should water the trees. Zero. Plant water. Zero out of three. Water plant. There we go. Do we gotta go back to the bucket? Or let's see. I know we have it with us. This is surprisingly challenging. Okay. Then is that it, or what? Should be. Let's so chop down weeds, water trees, good as new. Shining like new. Spectators, imagine you get anything interesting. Thanks for your help. Supplemo, joining today, pretty great experience. Fingers crossed, cross as well. Here's hoping. Tails and chairs, no idea how many people show up. Good press, see you tomorrow. So it actually keeps on going. Housekeeper extraordinaire, and we get that for completing the cleanup within the time limit, which, to be fair, I don't think we could progress it if we didn't. I think there really was a way to fail. Ford with Bakugo as a classroom from, from Assassination Classroom. Cookie Run. Not the Cookie Run mansion! 
Not the Cookie Run Mansion. I. Jo joking, joking, joking. But it's honest. It was honestly wild to me, because I heard that they made a Cookie Run Gasha and that people played it a lot. And my little sister was talking about a lot of her friends being interested in simping for the cookies. That was sort of that's interesting. And then I found out it was sort of an auto RPG game, like a lot of them are with. Chibi, though, to be fair, you know, they're cookies, they're always chibi. But they... I didn't know how they got a lot of... I didn't know that they got a lot of famous voice actors to voice it. That... The first time I heard about Cookie Run Kingdom, I just didn't understand what was going on at all. And then I saw a bit more and I sort of, oh, it's just kind of a standard auto gosh RPG kind of thing. But they actually got a lot of famous voice actors... In particular for the Japanese dub, which it was it's interesting oh, okay, quite out. I actually saw him once at a convention. It was interesting. He was actually there with his He and Laura Durner Laura Stahl, Laura Stahl are married, I'm pretty sure. And they were there together actually, doing a panel. People showed up, upset this is normal. He was overnight, takes time and effort. Wonders for the class, sewing up your clothes, did not. Opportunity to chat and knit a sweater, one clothes before the winter comes. Respect you deserve. But look out for me, already made me very happy. Oh, nice. Doesn't bother me at all. Show my backgrounds, interest in nature, my work, and that's okay. Can't expect everyone to see things the way you do. Seem to talk, in their nature, can't do much to stop them. Don't mind what they say about me, I care about the well being of the clan. Got all that? Needle storm hidden? Stuck in that niche? I'm around for what hoots? We all need it all. No one here, index finger, and it's not end. Should be an ending here. Close attention to this. Small goal, knit a scarf by winter. Your choice, wear yourself or gift it. Warms my heart. And that, yep! There's the ending, and we knitted a sweater. Harder than one might imagine. So we got this branch done. So in that case, if we go to itinerary, should be a couple choices if we try to go outside then. And I think this is what would happen if we tried to get mad at people and have them respect Toma more. Either way, I will. I'll be right back. I gotta take a very quick bathroom break. Patience is appreciated.
I also realized I never checked out the brother's profile again. Let me see. It was... gave his... Didn't you give your brother's UUID? Let me see. I... Right, okay. I was just able to scroll up and see it. Let me check that out real quick. 6193 193 43077 That Yo. Oh, a Geomate. That's cool. That is... Ah, uh, the drinking drink event. I like that. Oh, he's been around for a while. I don't have that Theater Mechanicus, Mechanicus one or that Winch Race one. What's Dragon Prince about? I... Might be a Philistine, because I haven't heard of it. Uta with Black Quiff. Not bad. Deathmatch is decent. Favalance might be a bit better with that. The Drip is good, but you'd want Iron Sting. Fav or Sacrificial usually. Zephos is good too. Five. That's a good That's a good choice. That's a good choice. Good. It's decent. Then, that, I mean, that works, but Dragon Bane, Dragon's Bane is still usually going to be better. Shimana with probably be better off with full Shima. Good. Psst, also full Shima. Good emblem. That just... Who wants guild it or gladiator and... BV, BV. I actually have this exact same setup on my Zhongli. It's the best way to maximize burst damage most of the time. Because he doesn't need enough energy recharge most of the time to justify building emblem. He has husk, but yeah. It, clearly, they aren't really priorities, but... Yeah, full Shime on both, or maybe Quaff on Huto could be good. Well, I mean, that's good crit damage. But the the stats are good, though. Really good crit ratios on pretty much everybody. What's the question with the even, even Venti? Oh, but does he... Oh, but the EM on Venti and Kaza is... Not, was not really prioritized, that's the thing. The constellations, you don't even have... Oh, and C2 Zhongli. That's not bad. That might help. And oh, but... Oh, but if you have... It's Kaza C1 that actually refreshes his skill after burst use. You don't need Sack and Fab as much, so you could run something like Iron Sting. Either way, Kagra's Surveyation is not very useful in him. What is... Pretty sure that one increases attack speed. That's just nice to have. Also, C1 Huta, which I do actually have, is a very good upgrade too. Let's discuss hospitality with our boy Toma. Is there something you'll enjoy? Despite that, we're planning where to take you. Endure door out, door. Let's go. Let's go out. First roll, places I was going to recommend. Cats and dogs, place to take you. Every day of day off, surrounded by cute animals. Downtown if you prefer, Narukami. See you instead. First met, haven't been there in a long time. Cats and dogs. One, sure interest, and I forgot to kill you here. Sakura tree in Hanami Zaka. Sure, wow, that's around where Ito lives, but this is before Ito, so... Maybe things can't go there empty-handed. So meet him in Hanamizaka. Stray cats and dogs gather. Toma will be feeding the animals, I believe. All right, all right. Nanika, what is it that you know? Stray cats and dogs gather. Over here we have another Toma along with. Oh, and we actually have to talk to- it's not automatic. Konobasho? Marukunai daro? This place isn't bad. Shukats and dogs in the outskirts, from the call away, bring food for them, tradition over time, a chore. Can't do enjoy it. I grow a lot, good with animals, good with housekeeping. Enough times win their affection too. Responsibility, any free time, desperate to come and visit them. Try feeding them, their food, getting their good graces. Guess I'll try. Don't be aggressive toward humans. One way they find someone threatening, pretty sure they're like you. Torchable, they can tell, sensitive to these things. Hmm. Fresh meat, feed the strings. Fresh fish, fresh meat, go like hotcakes, slightly fishy smell, laughing. Food over here, and they'll come running. 
So I should probably have some back. Back. Backle. Backle. Okay. Food, they'll come running, so. And the bulls. Fresh meat to feed the dog, and fresh fish to feed the cat. Talk to you. It's interesting that they didn't specify which was for which, you just said. Fish for the dogs and cats, meat for the dogs and cats. Best buds already. Showing their bellies, son, they really trust you. Tomorrow, I'm going to be rolling this back. And ninja dog and ninken. Karewa ninken da karane. As I'm going, case an enemy approaches. Beach north of Konda village. In the water. Should we go to encounter one or? Hmm. Where we go from the road, stick with human ninja partners. Retiring, taking about the part of the war. Someone else in the commission. In the wild, a little concerned. Adopt it. <laughs> Idea shroud and razor. That. That's interesting. That's actually very different character-wise, then. Shy guy versus... Okay. Huh. Apparently. Yeah, exactly. Maybe the wiki's wrong. Maybe they're just lying to you. Maybe. Wouldn't let me trust petting on the head. Got a nasty bite. Don't want to give up. One goes out that way. Don't know what I'd have to eat out there. See it together. Mmm, it's... I mean, in the end, he's based off of Hades from... Hercules, right? In that case, I would agree because of all the misrepresentations of myth in Hercules, Hades is definitely the worst of them. Because it's just turning him, turning a you know a Greek god of the underworld who's neither really good or evil into a sort of Christianized devil figure is it's predictable, but that doesn't make it good. On a related note, I need to actually play Hades sometime. They actually just put out Hades 2 in Early Access, but it's apparently still already bigger than the original one was, even though it's only in Early Access right now. Hey, most approachable, I want to give another try, since on the beach all day, he faces back when the tide comes in. Crew was soaking wet, back to the offshore commission, better for only being sitting on the elements to come over to the house, friends of Taramaru. We even got that far. Hmm. It's just Ninken by the shore wandered off into the wild. Is that one of, one of the most interesting things about sort of other cultural mythologies and systems is how different they are. And if you erase that difference, it's just a lot less interesting and frankly kind of pointless. But I think. I know that there's a... You can do a fight with a ninja dog as part of an event. But I think might have been the same patch. So I'm wondering if we'll be able to fight it. Oh, I don't think so. It's not the same model as the ninja dog you actually fight. That one just did Oh, and he's quieting down. That's fun. Read an apparel and junk in the shumatsu box. That his partner either died or left permanently or something. We're docile, trying to get closer. This behind looks tall, get rounds up. Let's invite in an instant. Alright. Yoshi Yoshi. You call that? Good kid. Yoshi, something tasty. Growl. No, it actually looks pretty similar, so will we fight it? Subtle thing, bit me again. Sweet, eat a little something. To come back, a dog's got to eat, right? Word it's poison, take the first bite. Poison free. Not there. Having him talk with his mouth full of something. I wonder how they got that in the studio. Well, bite, tiny little, leave you alone. Set sound, woof woof. Just eating the food, kind of on edge. Let's see if something nearby, monsters. Ah, uh, yep, there we go. Let's do this thing. I bet. Single version would take him down. Attack by monsters? Possible. Dangerous situation, save for dogs, quite the area on behalf of our canine companion. A little more tranquil now. Nothing to say over there, so let's just go over here and. Thank you. Go over and just. Come on, come on, and how many seeds? Boom, and. Okay, we got most of them, but you are still. Mm -hmm. So let's actually just have. Oh, more of them? Oh, okay, cool. 
So could we get you over this way, maybe? Yep. Trying to do this as simply as possible. So, oh my goodness. So what if I, over there, boom, and, okay, we got you down, you're burning. Bon Rouge, Ayato from Diabolic. Diabolic is, I know that that's the one with monsters, right? I had some friends who were, the friend who cosplayed Riddle was also into that, I believe. Another Ayato. I guess I should have expected that there would be more than one character in, in the world named Ayato. It, it is possible, in particular. This is way different, but I... There's an American funk band, funk metal, funk rock band called Primus. And their frontman, he sings and plays the bass at the same time. It's a weird band. Good, though. My dad likes it a lot. And is a guy named Wes Claypool. And a few years ago, I watched Cowboy Bebop with my dad, and a guy on their staff, one of their music staff members, was named Wes Claypool III. Totally unrelated, not the same person at all. Which is kind of saddened both of us, because we were fans of some of the guy's work. And, I mean, it would have made sense. It was also kind of funky, jazzy music in Bebop, which, if you haven't seen Bebop, you should. Spike is a very fun character and the music is just fantastic if you like jazz or even if you did even if you don't you really should check it out silver and kaza I and mean, kaza's hair is white so i mean even though they do look pretty different okay oh right i i forgot yeah kaza's Shimazaki Nobunaga, who, he voices a lot of things. He's Arjuna and Dantes in Fate, for example. One of my old friends was a really big, she was really big in Arjuna. I, I think saying Arjuna Yume might have been a bit strong, but big Arjuna fan. No more danger. Something young, you jump back to Komore. Mind tell me and Taramari all about it. The fourth. So when the cooperate, we failed. We did it again. One didn't like it. I would around you too. So when we, what's that force it? Back to the computers or our collected Shimatsuban? Oh yeah, she was too high to... Oh, so this is where we get the crimes. What do you inquire into their business? There were a lot of people theorizing that Ayato would have sort of a ninja base kit, would at least have a shuriken or a kunai throw or something. They were surprised when he did not have anything like that. Uh, a while back, then the rules in exceptional circumstances. Can't mobilize until we need a from a prerogative. Good dog, won't take you away. Much safer. Leave now. Get a good rest. Let's go. You can ask about the master. Woof woof. Let's go back over here. Mm -hmm. Well, let's go. get over this way. And who is going to be our liaison? So this is Kazuaki, who I don't believe is... And from the... As in Bug's Life? A Bug's Life? A Bug's Life is funny. Well, among other things, it I think it predated Spongebob, but Roger Bumpus, who vo who's the voice of Squidward, he plays some kind of insect there, and he does it in the exact same voice that he ended up using for Squidward. I saw that some months ago, and it was just crazy to me. But A Bug's Life is a lot like Barnyard. And back at the barnyard in that... Because back at the barnyard, the main character is Otis, who is a male cow. Not a bull. A male cow. With an udder. With udders. And Flick from A Bug's Life is... You know, that kind of worker ant is only ever female. The only male ants are drones. So they made... <laughs> they made a literal animal species or sort of kind of animal that was explicitly only female... A male version of that, a male cow with udders, and a male worker ant. Just have a male main character. You know, no no accuracy there. No concern for accuracy there. It 
it's it's cer certainly something you know that's me i care about accuracy too much and in weird ways that would be rings a bell, which will be to describe it again for me. Akai Shiba Inu, Red Shiba Inu, with a scar on its eye, black style to wear. Inu Shosho, that's its name? That's right, we found him. Who so unquacked it, but the owner is dead, right? Run away like this? No real food and shelter, day and night. And the owner, time to fetch him? Sorry, won't be possible, he's dead. Oh, no secret identity. Interest mission, won't be coming back, or is he up dead? Can't take more, one alone. Come back, refuse to move from the beat, so it's basically... What's the name of... Ha... Something... That Japanese dog that waited... Hachiko, Hachiko. Bad dog. Be waiting forever. Leave anything behind? Any personal items? Or Shimatsu Bond uniform? Spear with the man himself, the Kunai to train with. So I can find it for you. Switch to the warehouse? We don't even actually go inside, huh? Just like the one. Shimatsu Bond trained harder than anyone else. What from our religion? Our religion? Jongli? Daily expenses? Some of the Kunai, serve the will, another visit. That's the end of that one. Company with Toma. Should be the ending here. Okay. Right. What should I have by the way of? Yeah, I have around 110 rolls. For Corinne, whenever she decides to show up, and then maybe for Siglin too. Let's see how it goes. How can we go over here? Let's try some of this out. Go over to the Ninken. Ninja Dog. And get that other wizard, I suppose. Didn't even have the Kunai as an actual item. Ninja Shosho. Woof woof. Strange man knows your name. Master, come home. Went along with you. Do you know what this is? Kunai lost its edge. Use it. Get through a tough regimen. It's kind of blunted at the tip. Kind of. Definitely scratched up. Thought you remember. More affectionate this time. From Sekai and Don Hain. Oh, wow, that. Interesting. A professor? Oh, I. Oh, that's interesting. I didn't know he had. Wait, so is. Oh, but he isn't a playable character, right? Because he's staff. Okay. More affectionate this time. Not for us to take us away, but for us to accompany him. Did this too arrive still on the beach, looking out of the horizon? Before events from the past, look back on father, when we grow, realize they aren't coming back. Not peaceful, the ninja is dangerous. That's my price course to carry out missions. Never identities. Squaws, take your time, take your time. A public commemoration. Not the only one in the world who remembers him. Join you in honoring his memory. Means to you, and you're all right. Got to soak it down, I promise. In time, when we get the chance, little kennel. Hold them up, you guys join problems, but of course, better get started. Dog sweater, and the sea never returning. What companionship can alleviate solitude and pain? Okay. It's the second achievement there, one of Ishu Inoshoshu's. Shosho store together with Toma. So let's review that invitation. Oh right, we needed to start it differently. Oh nice. What's for what's for lunch or dinner or breakfast? Hope it's good. But and hungry. Oh, so what do we do if there's a branch off there? Just dog outside premises. It's a branch somewhere. So what will we do? Where can we get our split? Either way, it's interesting that it splits off here. Alright. Okay, so I think choosing the first option in order kind of mimics the split vertically. In the actual hangout map, as but so ready, showing their bells, where we trust you. Back, ninja dog, on guard. 
Found a village, dogs in the world, with a partner, slash your commission. It's here, why don't you adopt it? I'm gonna bring it back, what can you let me? Nasty boy. Have to eat out there, time to calm down, and a okay, good idea. So we'll play with other dogs, or it's mood, try to approach it. Eat before going to the woods, it's probably safer. More friends, what is really strange? In touch, can't take the measurements easily. Ah, dog photograph, cat photograph. Angles, other objects as reverence, real fixer. So that's a match of total being a fixer again. Fun. Take some pics. Take some photos. Honto, Kamayina. How cute. It's in bond. Correct angle. Take that photo. Why not save it? Then another one. Go over there and on the other side. Oh no, we only needed two. Okay. No back, just front side. The photos now, can't give her how cute they are, adorable, aren't they? Super cute. And smart as you complimentary colors, you don't have an extra pass. One stray dog on its own, fed it on a rainy day. The policy is by Kamisato, clan elders resisted to changes. I will be my umbrella to visit the senior. Talking and is supporting the decision. It's an interested in conversation. Didn't let me in, I had a samurai to send you away. I can't fix him, fix him the end, the visits didn't go so smoothly. And it went from bad to worse. We're all completely useless, rich from head to toe, a real mess. Shelter under a tree, straight down with the same idea as me. So we moved a little further in, trying to make a room for me. We were together, should not only get a nice spot. Stone cold, but so edible. edible. I mean, you ready for the way. Shelter so concern, an expendable servant, my lord and my lord, and I can do a family patrol. A symbol of dogs and cats, an onigiri, a friend's relay. To hand it, still come to me. Simple, straightforward connection is the best. A bridge, place again some other time, as soon as I'm done admitting. See you soon, and that's the end of that. Or oh, is it? Oh no! He'll actually come back and we actually put a canine sweater on her. So we'll have to wait for her. Next day to come, sadly. It is what it is. Okay, okay. Let me see, let me see. And in that case... Mm -hmm. So he's back here. Straight heads and dogs and sweaters. So will they offer resistance or what? So sleepy. We do bring them in that way to get those sweaters later. Should we suit them? Test them out on the friendlier ones. Petal, Darko, and Goldilocks. Trust them, so they've all got names. Most of them look great. Just see them through the winter. Spring and the year will begin. If you're to roam the wilds once again, from day to time, they kind of will. Good things will come your way eventually. So, a bit naive, but I really do believe it. it seems to work for me. That's the ending of that there. We have our cats and dogs seeing over the sweaters. And sweaters seems that one doesn't quite fit. So a measurement error seems to have been made somewhere in the process. So then we will choose another location. Outdoors, we'll pick the other option. Okay. <coughs> So in that case, we got our boy Toma over here, yet again. This is the only way Fourth or so time, something you'll enjoy. Find a way to take you, outdoor activities, and... Go for a stroll, and recommend cats and dogs, and then... Or we could go downtown, do that, no economy, or retail, so don't retail, up to you. Set the town, straight there. Took pretty well, grand tour, where they are, above all, let's enjoy ourselves. Okay, host invitation complete. And then, trip for two in Rito. Go to Rito and talk to Toma. Okay. Good old tomato. So, over here we have. By some of the shops we got. Actually, let me see. Can I buy. Oh, you can't get anything from there. Yeah. Anything from. Be interesting if that's sold. Some error specialties, because the Mondstadt one, Sailing Breeze here, does actually sell some Mondstadt specialties. Not a long time, place hasn't changed at all. Time for humans, book of an eye for the natural environment. Mondstadt like these days, you miss it. In there, you miss it. Grew up there? Ah, father moved back to Inazuma, never heard from him. Moved here from Mondstadt. Oh, so he's. he's half and half, is he? Okay, interesting. 
To the line wide, took the boat here, hit storm, sunk the boat. Tom just floated on the wreckage. Yes, we're not take your route, so is, is his mom dead? We're from that region. Shops look like this over here. A little fancier, yeah. Show you away. On the way out to. We towed it in. Special summoning, fantastic pieces in the moment. We knocked to a straight necklace, that's one. Specialty, Hoapis Branxlet, another specialty. And top tier and ore, craftsmanship, exquisite. Pick your interests. Necklace but a bracelet, both suit you nicely. Hmm. Get to do this, take them both. Figured us with the price, actually from Lima, another lie. Say no more, dream over Trashy, figure we'll. Reasonable, take you somewhere else. So, we're just going shopping, huh? Mandi of Monsta. So, we say here. Free trade, free culture, free lifestyle. But this would have been before the lifting of the decree, right? So, that would be on a ride in second story quest, which was long after this. Minerals, okay, no special dialogue. So, alright, oh, and she did have TCG Challenge. Forgot about that. Let's move over, and I think that'll be Carpelia Sailing Breeze, which briefly sold. That special shake with a Yaimiko cosplayer back in Urodori a couple years ago. Sailing Breeze. Not my father, but one from my hometown. I put it for the Don Juan standard, that's why they can sell it here. No competition. Probably the angels share back then. No drinks. With enough opportunities gone, have that drink one day. Hope so. So when will we get our Toma Monsant visit? This hasn't happened. Right, been to Angel Shin, quite a few of the businessmen. Do you look in Toma? Have a drink, maybe on your older. Okay. Toma's story about wine. Oh, Sakoku? Trade and commerce already starting to recover. Oh, so that... In that case, I guess it does. Prosperity of its past. Wait, wasn't that part of, finally prospered, part of the second riding quest? Get you anything today? Apex? That toy fox? Kitsune Nue Gorumi? Polish trade association is still going strong. Hope can be quite essential. Question is, what can I... Okay, and that'll start over there with Kurisu. Kurisu back. Thankful time here. That's right, conjure up proceeding merchants to accept him. If you do ask me about you sometimes, I'll for all of us to be alike. Excuse me, some more delivery a gift to you. Gift involved here, not sure I've earned it. Something I can do for you. Heard of you before, don't know me. Travel a lot back, Christopher Hop, you are the one who resolved it. See you under kindness, can't go unacknowledged. Got something caught in my way. But I got suki so not knowing. Confection, Yume no Tenenan. Hmm. Dreamy nature? Delicacy, small fortune. Someone of your stature. Assistance, uh, so wait, ways to value my gift, you like it. Don't know how you did it, Kater might taste perfectly. Except, you accept? Is he telling the truth, or is he just being nice? Good work for the bronze, come find me. Thanks again. Peace now, have a good day. You too, goodbye. High energy guy. Alright, we're now in Inazuma, how to come back to Top shapes, as thick as it gets, cooking as a batter, ah. Flattery will get you everywhere. Two decades old, chefs been out in their whole lives, after mad delays on board. Kids just really go to wings, able to reach their level. Still to trip, every neighbor's seen the city, this way. She didn't head back so soon, so what's next? Trip or two in Vito. I'm feeling each time I come, but the seasons didn't never actually change here. Not entirely due to the seasons. Happy to be here with you this time. How nice. Kimito, with you. So in that case... I wonder if the line changed at all. I need to check that. Until my visit is not spectacular. It's not a comedy. This vlog can't be this one. I'll see my vlog again now. It's been abolished. After us, I go for a long vacation. Take a trip back home. So they're having any time soon. Long list of things to get through. Let's head back. Hold on. Wait. I'm ready to leave. Of all places, repair your kindness with a gift. Thank you for that. Thank you for the help to bring vision on decree. My god, you. Could ask for no gift, nothing expensive. Well, I'm not excited. It's 
Oh, for Monsta, that's cool. I wasn't expecting this. Lost Rewards, invaluable, it costs anything. Not material value, but sentimental personal value. Confection from the merchant. Thoughtful, but mostly transactional. Not standard procedure, gift in return. That's a confectioner, me and my level. Is your approach to future requests? When Nora receive in return, she was into material value. We wait in the same terms, glad you liked it, nothing in return. This in return, and... Oh, an Omomori, but we actually get this as a quest out of water. Expensive, very good luck. Father told me, gave it to her. Spurf came to Inazuma. Always nice to rob this friend to Inazuma. Lucky to have it, and... Ah, oh, we actually got the lucky Omomori. Wondering fragments bring you more good luck. Omomori Toma gave you, said to be able to bring good luck. So I have one last one, which is probably going to be the one where we interrogate... The samurai and try to get him to give Toma his due. So let's restart this thing. Okay. How nice. If we actually have the CG has a memory there and the Astro Bouquet over there. So. Two in the retail. Trip for two in Italy. Switch recommendation and. Right, before Transient Dreams. Downhill ever since the decree took effect. It's pure. Dark room took their place. Same gloom. Not been good for business. Stability every turn. And then if Sakoku decree will be repealed one day, flourish again. It's a freedom bowl with a groom. Gloom, long vacation back home. Okay, interesting. Let me see. Transient dreams would be. Transient dreams. And yeah, that's the second act of Raiden Story Quest. So it's interesting that they had lines for a hangout quest that came out much, much earlier. Well, that came out... Let me think. That came out three versions earlier. Which actually changed a bit of the home, bit of the dialogue of the hangout quest. It's interesting. Let's start that and go over here. And then we'll choose the other path, which I don't imagine will take all that long. And then, what does that really come to mind right now? It would be a few talent books to grind out, and then maybe a bit of poking around some arrow. We'll see. As important as ever, lavish meals, cleaning up land. Some of spirit wants that board and bread. Season that guy, this will give it a B. So it's coming up behind you, and what will that change? Slept two hour, rain we've been having, all doing here, something happened. So lots to do, busy people, sense of urgency too, vacation to Uber. Cannot put everything, sure did. Big deal, same everywhere. Look at the coin, wouldn't you agree? No, I wouldn't. Can't say I agree. Oh. I'm comfortable tell you how much they do. How much you do, how you see the situation, don't think we need to go down that route, housekeeper. I'm not quite yellow high, not even though you're staff. My guess, look to see any other thoughts, do share them with me. So shots, your suggestion, of course. Ask around at Yashiro. Come and find me if you need anything. Objective in. And those guys are gone, so who do we talk to? Question members questions? Had any ideas? Oh, so is this the one where we'll get to use Toma? QA, she looks new. Yep, okay. It's gonna be a problem. What's the matter? Kind of sort of sort. Ah, uh, cause friend, awful sad. Discussing what we should do about it. Preparation for the festival. Precious ceremony events from another island. This one means that the two that they say well, it was out by now. All of them would be out by now, cause they had a two in the extent. On the ocean, a back of land. Oh, we could die. If only we could dive in Inazuma. Buy another batch. No economy of you, Saku. Welcome back. Was it more cup noodles or? Hope you ate something good. Shoot and he press gouged. More work, we'll draw the bottom down and use the name of the pressure. And budge, something with a feud with the commission. Sure, so, we'll implement some poor quality. Return the items to expose my practice. So that's the grudge. Resented us. Let's get back, knowing he'll back down. The direct authority of merchants from the complaint. On process, press one here every day. So tell me could help out. I have to see him to know they'll be able to resolve it. It goes smoothly. Is that 
So I guess that would just be it. Let's go not Umako Ikotori. Hope it goes well. So now we have our friend over here, let's do Toma. Sonokotoka, that situation. Then you two, sort of after entertaining, so no solution. Okay, so. Was it home cooking or. Burger? I don't know. We need to talk with the guy first, but your interests head over there together. She will plan and join that rope you in a trial tribulation. Same flavor as before, or a different one? Respect you deserve, sound to be fun. I think so? Guess I'd better look away. What you really want? Give him my best shot. Oh, nice! So, what might have been, what might it have been specifical if that's not too confidential? Shit with merchants in the city, and let's see, let's see. Talk to Fusaku, I believe. Yeah, okay. As some prices are realistic, what point are you trying to make here? It's the way I don't say we didn't warn you, you Saku. Still not attacked by Yashiro of Samurai, I'll cut that out. If it is, you're not gonna harm you. It's my one of Doshin Yida Doshin. Cop, no negotiation to be had, get out of here. What a sleazy guy. Light up, and... Hmm. Well, they got amateurs in Europe, if you will. Hello again. The Aaron Boy Toma. Elementals. So would it be... Would it be doll? Was it... Is it... Because I know... I'm making wild guesses here, but I know that... There's a lot of Indian... A lot of Indian lentil dishes. Aaron Boy Toma, how long is he walking up for? Tenryo Din, goods being cheap, thanks. Why not something in frame, do you? Lentil soup. But what? What's the original name then? It. Let me see. It says. Dal Ezogelin Halim Geme. Some Indian stuff, some Middle Eastern stuff. So the so Dal is both the name for their lentils and for the soup, okay. That's what I thought. Oh lenteja. Lentejas. Oh okay. Mexican lentil soups, lentils, carrots, potatoes, and staple spices. It sounds tasty. Does sound feeling too. Something in frame, goods were defective, pedantic. Or in a given year, candles, for example, go through. Redoubt single person notes and make a small fortune. Oh. Oh, chile! That's cool. Kind of soup. I mean, in the end, you know. For, for, oh, nice. Cool. I. I kind of still speak Spanish. I studied it a lot in high school, but I'm a little rusty. Actually, I'm quite a bit rusty. He pasado un largo tiempo después de mi final clase de español y mis habilidades son debiles. That's. yeah. <laughs> Much needed. Supplies, I'm grateful had the audacity to report me. Hmm. Tables of terms, I can my help, mainly for charging extra more than oil, bankruptcy, even for the commission. I have a shipment in a storm lying in the bottom of the ocean. I would say, did he arrange that, but it's not like he could have. He's not writing. Could be postponing it, not an option. Thank you, thank you. To be fair, I've, I've literally practiced that phrase to tell people it's been a long time since my last class, and I suck. So. <laughs> Believe me, a, a deeper conversation. Maybe you could try saying, typing something, and I could see if I could parse it. In the end, it's it's not like I entirely forgot. It's just I'm deeply out of practice. Thank you, though. Corner post putting is not an option. Only when selling what you need. It's pure shade. Yaguji Sama. Or the Almighty Shogun here is not going to be happy. Real problem on your hand. Consider your position here. Hmm. Oh, a little harmless. A short commission, no one else buys items. Speed swiftly is in your interest, too. When you're that desperate to die, ain't desperate to sell. 
The waste for all I care be no great loss. Can't come into an agreement, or we have to be in a mother. The long new pay up look like an idiot from festival colors, your choice sounds precious, we're slice of mine. Ready to pay, be ready to talk. Leaves and leaves without looking back. It is a treasure hoarder or something. But a queer doesn't intend to discuss this any further. The station top to make for happy memories, so yeah, or the shogun, no. And of course, there's no split, so a difference couldn't make a difference. Can't think of much of the acts, if she wants with the commission. So it's the good, it's responsibility is on us to find a solution. You can write it out. Reputation will take a big hit. People I want to introduce you to. Is it going to be Shumatsu Bob Geyser? This is made of friends, so I would imagine. This is Yasutake. I don't think I've seen this guy before. Toma Janaka? Isn't it Toma? Especially building the night, it's been a while. The beat up just vanished into thin air. Your face? Order no Tomodachi? A friend. Out of work? Not a connection? A regular friend. Invested interests? Some downtime mired in complications. A mistake? A situation? See when you need something. Like of iron ore, it made any progress. Suppliers? Out of the loop? Increase our bid price. Plenty of sellers to import. Now that they get a hold of it. Let's gather the competition. Enter the bidding. Or the way to put the party. It's a problem. Iron ore really know what to deal with. So maybe trading for the candles needed? Or select a few sellers under consideration. Sold the friends. Couple of chips. Shipments picked up. Since so much sellers were quality, had competitive prices. Sellers, good thoughts. Two of veterans, regular sales of quality, see price. Probably down to 80% maybe. Out of nowhere recently, quality is not bad, but less reliable. High volume, small profit. Spy goods for early upon receipt. Well, and left on the bandwagon, mixed bag of quality, and not a very good price, so ignore. Name on the same page. But important how we'll be appreciated. No skin off my back. So are we sabotaging that merchant is revenge? I mean, return deliveries of iron ore have been stolen, and anything you can do to help. Hmm. We're still on the road between Konda and Inazuma, and I've been walking that stretch. Oh, so this is where we get to use Toma for combat. But before you know it, what, what is going on here? A few questions, explain everything later. We'll get to work pretty soon. There he is! He's finally being a fixer in a violent sense. Situation with our deliveries. So in that case... Let us continue down this path. Thank you, thank you. And you over here. Oh, just some hill trills, so let's put these down and come on, come on. And just plus and virgin. There we go, and that's all we had to do. Simple enough. Yuko Nomi, the cargo merchant. Hey, her shirts came out of nowhere. Good help for you. I'm going assist with the delivery. This iron order with destination. Are you anything for this? Between us and Yasutake, when you should be thinking of anyone, let's do this. Oh, deliver the cargo out of the city, so... Oh, interesting, that's cool. Let's so the transfer of one, save it to its destination, and... Well, that did it already. Okay. So how do we want to... Oh, actually, we should probably just... Oh, well, now it's burning, but that didn't deal with the damage I might have wanted. We'll see. There we go. More monsters to come. Oh my god. Probably should show up when we hit this barrier, maybe. Oh no, it's actually quite. No, no, there they are. Oh, and, oh goodness. So, what if we go over this way and get a little closer? And let's try to get some of these seeds down. And just. Oh, alright. Oh, well, that already. Okay, interesting. Couple seeds and We got some virgins and some other stuff. I guess I could have used more of my... This will do it, won't it? I think. Hit, 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 and... There we go! Rooms are so strong. Virgins even better. Big question is, how much will I be able to... They have a big group of enemies with us, and then I could actually start pulling out bursts. But it definitely would be a bit overkill, and I don't want to waste too much time. Okay, so there we go, and we got a bit of that, so... Come on, come on in. Oh, goodness. Get over here, then, and we'll just take that down, and thank you, and... Virgin, and... That was nice. That was quite nice. In a single 
kick, set off five or so seeds, destroying every single one of those enemies and the barrier. I love Tama Virgin. The goods here, it was one of the only reasons I was actually able to get all the stars I needed in Abyss this time. Many things, many monsters, and see where they came from. Nice the situation. Safe route, heading off now. Oh, my thanks to both of you. Day's work, come on, let's go. Talk to the cargo merchant, and then... No, no. We're part back to Yasutake over here. Yasutake? What about Matsutake? Maybe not, maybe not. So in that case, we'll just... Turn over here, and that should be close to the end of the quest line, so we'll be able to do a couple of talent domains and probably finish off things today. Oh, really no more, goods have been safely delivered. Just needed my help with some of the case, expected resolution very shortly. Bringing up for other people behind the scenes was keeping pretty busy, eat up all of your personal time too. You call again in a few days' time, meeting coming up. For associations, fighting tooth and nail over the chance to make a profit, have to mediate on this one. So, not a problem, I'll be there. Saka I gave her guy a loan, but might be interested to know. Talk to him, thanks to you for all your help, and nothing of it. See you in a few days' time. So what is going on here? If I saw what you're talking about, quartermaster of Tenryo, church of procurement, and weapon supplies and tank. Raw materials, key decision maker, and iron ore train. It's discussing with him just now, ceremonial affairs. Not a whole lot, but you'll see very shortly. Another old friend of mine. Home to see Sakai. So are we actually going to be doing a raid, or that's the question. So it's all about ore and weapons, or do they have a spare stock of candles that will end up getting traded? That's the question. Hmm. A shrine up there, so... Hello there, Mr. Sakai. Sorry, cat. Can you nom me new dish? Alright, the new mushroom pizza. Good friend helped bring it to us. Actually, let me see. It's been a while, so. Two to go. Special mushroom pizza. Apple toppings. Rare ingredients. A strange dance, albeit in a good way. Hmm. Okay. Sakai over here. Oh, that uses fluorescent fungi. Yeah, you too, over already. You know if it's feasible. No ah, problem. Betcha it was the more long than you heard on the road. And then for more, it's me the bad guy. Thank you, this relationship with the Ashuva, several times, pay back right away. Take all the flat, small tablets, civilian security, not rocking the boat. So you not knock to this sheet and get hold of some. But we're still under his butt, funny for now. We're thinking for okay. Well, my hands are for you, go and find some. Do we have some already, or? We're back, yep, we have some here. Is this enough? Plenty. Nice to meet. Satisfied customers. From bits and lots of I'm still working. Tend to a conflict. Your cross crawfish and happy and healthy for a long time, long time to come. So we're seeing Toma's dark side right now. Let's try to find trouble. Direct for all our future dealings. Here, seeing new subtitles. Don't worry, she's high. You got my no concern needed. Businesses tend to expose their own weaknesses. Back to the commission headquarters. Denouement, denouement of the emergency. So, how will this conclude? Let's see. So we got the samurai from before. Do yeah? we now? Ask him nicely, change our heart. Now that would work. Any other options? Might as well give it a try. Samurai spirit. Have the clan in trouble? There the humiliation resolved. The samurai spirit. Anyone here? And there he is. So has, been, has he been bombed to the negotiating table, so to speak? What's he doing here? They're make fun of us. We can do about it. Brace yourself. Apologize. I got water cut. They're all apologizing. Wait, what? I got water cut. That I was bad. No price. Maybe not that price. What's going on? Are you here? Because he needs money fast. The debt's been collected. Aren't you need so? We're house full of stock. You need more? I don't need to be. Without any duds. It's rubber. More reputation. No fakes or defects. Well, I'd be hood. Don't cut me off. No fakes this time around. Go ahead with a shipment. Expect the goods. All in order. So when facing, we'll quickly disappear. So we hope with the ore to give him competition and got someone to try to collect a debt to just force him to do this. Okay. 
Look at that. the goods right away, right away. Sell as soon as possible. Everyone's in the best interest. Jim Carrey, get out of here. Why was he apologizing to Tumba? Where'd he go? Right here a second ago. The corridor is sweeping. Wars are done. Dust down the railings. And on, how much dust is gathered? Cleaning is a daily chore. What happens? So if you go and sold, wouldn't bother him. Let's cut off his business and make him feel the heat. How do we feel the metal business rule? And new customers, and sort of that privately. Couldn't ship his product, no revenue, couldn't pay it alone, not the pressure. Not wind of what his problems were, seek us out to apologize. Well, Toma treatment. We can deal upon situations like this in the past. The cop doing more doesn't bother me all that much, just the housekeeper. Reputation not important. Too good, can you restrict it? And dig it for my sake? Not the kind of person they say, I mean, but to be gossip, that's enough. Well, I'm close enough to know the real me, thank you. The new crisis, or you want to entertain you again some time. You get full of entertaining this time around, or the both of you. Everyone's happy. And housekeepers a more relaxing and interesting job after all. Keeper's other side, and... Daily chores unlock all endings, which seems to imply that Every single one of those was canon in its own way, even if it was branching, which is interesting. So we have 6 out of 18 done, so we have 12 more, but now we have... It's about 63 in Primo, 70 with those, and then 39. So 119 right now. Then we've got the rest of the batch. So we should be able to guarantee at least one of... Sigwin and Corrin, and I do have... One of these days I could go to the teapot and collect friendship rewards from various characters and get about 17 rolls? Smart, smart, smart. Well, as in the music one? The music one won't have all of its phases available until Friday, I believe? So you could get a jump start on it, but I like to do my events all, in one, all at once. I like to wait until everything's unlocked, so that's part of why I'll be waiting until Sunday. So the only thing left for me to do right now is to run the Fontaine Talent Domain a few times, showing off that Overload team. And yeah, that will be it for today. We got... I was able to show off the event. That last Platinum Medal I hadn't gotten on stream, and then... Mostly, one more quest comes in a lot of TCG games. TCG games that lasted a while, too. Either way, it, I got a good amount done. I think I got a good amount done today. The thing is, I need to just run the team to make sure I have the right characters in. So first is Orokino, then Yai, yeah, then Fischl, and then Chivros. I actually just got randomly this patch, which was nice. Okay, so, so. Eight-line disorder. Let's go to make sure everyone has the right weapon. Oh, she first is Missive Windspear? Right, I need to switch that back on her. And then, Skyward and, oh, King Squire instead of Stringless. Okay. So it's a good thing we checked, but... Oh, because she had Fab on her to try to make one of the other teams work. Things have gotten kind of mangled, but it's whatever. One, two, three, and... Over there we got that, so... Overload, and who is Electro on right now? That... Hmm. Well, that... It is what it is. Okay, so we can just... Bring that down and try to use the rush missiles to Thanks, and... Well, that didn't hit, but at least we got our health back. So we run this just a couple more times, and... Yeah, I've got enough for two more runs with Condense, and then I'll probably wait until I have enough for one more Condense resin. Okay. Go over here, and one, two... Three, official and Chevros. Thank you. Go over this way and one, two, three, four. Oh, but it's not getting the burning down like I would have liked. It is what it is. 
three, four. One, two. There we go. A lot of fun. I do like the sink. I really, really do like the sink. It is maybe a little overpowered sometimes, but I like it. Yeah, this. Just trying to prep for new characters next patch. Secret as to why, but come on, just let's see if we can keep you from transforming. I think if we use overloads, we can actually manage it. And that, that was nice. Put the shield on one and manage to uh, knock one other down. So I think I wanted to hit 4 p. I mean, 3 p.m. where I am. So I think I could try to beat up one local legend real quick. Would be an option. Question is just which one, which one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Let's go and find supercomputing array real quick. It is always nice to get a few more clockwork mecha materials. And as long as I dodge adequately, it's not as if the arrow key the team is as badly, because it might not have Numa to deactivate it, but it does have. It does have. Beta. Has a lot of overloads, which enable you to get a lot of that down. So we can just pass you over there. Thank you. There we go. And two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two. One, two. And can we do that? Thanks. And just blast with the eye. That didn't actually do much because we didn't have the turret down. We messed up our rotation. We'll just go over there and dodge it and blast. Thank you. Well, that uh, official took damage because he can't really do much with. That was a shame. Oh, okay. You keep on going. Having a Claymore really to use here is kind of sad, but if it works, it works. There we go. And just two, four. One, two, three, four. And just. Oh, thank you. Last over there. And you just. Yeah, real quick. Thank you, thank you. And I'm not sure we got everything we wanted, but it works, it works, so. That's over there, and take some of that down. I think we might be able to get this, possibly, and dodge out of the way of that area on the ground, so if you open that up. Thank you. Oh, but we still got hit. Oh, whatever. And just let's cleave over there. Let's do it green. Official done, and we get that. Cool. Finish us off. There we go. Nice. And we even got that back. So everyone got their stuff back. We got two of the three star gear items, actually. And that was a good, good draw. So I'll go over and craft a few more talent books in, and so there we go. All I got to do is. Yeah, quiet stuff down here. Fun way to conclude things. Could I need to use stuff for healing? Make four of those without getting the way of stuff. Five, we got a bonus, so. The big thing is, we want to make sure we have. Make six. 21. Oh, I am sorry. I was literally right about to hop off. Because I got done with... I did Toma's Hangout event today. I did... I got that Platinum Metal 1 stream in the event. And I also... Did a bunch of TCG stuff. Yeah, it it's sad. It's sad. I guess the big thing is... I have one question for you with that. I think my mom wants to know who your bias in BTS is. Because she was happy to hear that there were people in chat who liked BTS. So I was confusing everyone with someone earlier who doesn't show up anymore who didn't like BTS. So... I'll take the answer to that question. Maybe. If you have one, if you have one. Okay, well... I'm sorry that... 
I was about to hop off, but like I said, I think I said this earlier, but I do need to go watch my sister's choir concert later today, so I will. I think I should probably hop off now so I can maybe do a bit more clipping and stuff. But hopefully next time will be more conducive to you. So I couldn't be on longer at a more convenient time. But thank you. Oh, oh, that that's why. Well, I'm sorry to hear you had detention. I hope. I'm glad to hear that it was past tense and that you're not in detention anymore, I think. But either way, either way, have a pleasant rest of your day, hopefully. And yet in case, if I, again, no pressure, but there is, of course, a fan community server if you're interested at all. So thank you to everyone who watched, everyone who didn't, and Santa Ragan to all of you. Have a good day.